and we're live. All right, Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, and And double honors to the elder apostles with great millstone and salutations to the elect. Uh, we are the brothers of Great Millstone, Miami. And um, hey, as you see, uh, the title of the lesson, you know, the end of all things is at hand. Okay, all right, we're at the end. Okay, and um, you know, a, you know, everybody's getting ready to, you know, stand before the Lord in judgment. All right, this is the time of judgment, times of great evils. Okay, the times of Jacob's trouble, man. All right, so now more than ever, you know, those of us who profess Yahweh Bashem Al Shai and profess to be in His truth. We have to be more firmly rooted in Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, man, in the doctrine of the Lord, in obedience to the faith, okay, in obedience to our Lord and Savior, man, okay, because as scriptures say in um, 2 Corinthians, the fifth chapter, or we shall all stand before the judgment seat of Yahweh Shai, man, that we, every man may receive what he has done in his body, whether it be good or evil, okay, all right, so now's the time of what, trimming more, now's the time, now's the time of making more sacrifices for the ministry, Okay, for Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai for the brotherhood. Now's the time of doing that. Okay, all right, being more all in. You know, this brother from Mississippi. Uh, yesterday he did a video going into being all the way in. Okay, being fully invested, man. All right, because you know these people out here, all right, which we've seen it in this faith. We've we've met guys, you know, even in our our short time period in the faith here in Great Millstone, Miami. We've met guys who have come and gone, and who have not been fully. Um, dedicated, fully locked into the spirit, man, fully all in for Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, and when and you know the Lord was throwing tests at them, you know was 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 you know giving them warning, marks for them to you know get their act together, and they didn't take heed to the spirit, okay, and then the one major test came, and that caused them to fold, okay. We've seen ma many examples of that, all right, and I'm sure brothers abroad have seen that. So now, hey, we got to be in the spirit of a. Hey, being all in for you, how about you, shy at every turn, at every opportunity, man, as possible. Being more locked into the spirit, okay, rather than the flesh and what we want to do. All right, so that when the time to come, the Lord will be pleased with our sacrifice and he'll defend us, man. When the big test comes, we'll be more inclined to follow the spirit rather than the flesh, man. And that's what it's about, okay, walking in the spirit, okay. All right, so um, if somebody can get that uh, First Peter's 4, I know you got it. Cut. In the book of 1 Peter, chapter 4, verse 7, it says, But the end of all things is at hand. Be ye therefore sober, sober and watch unto prayer. Right, the end of all things is at hand. Okay, so be ye therefore sober and watch unto prayer, man. All right, we are at the end of the world. Okay, this is, I mean, I mean, 2021, 2021, <coughs> right now the world is like, it has to be like 10 to 100 times more wicked than it was five years ago. Uh, I mean, I, 2016 and 15, I don't remember the world being this demonic. Like, even so, like, you know what I'm saying? It's not like people are, like, walking around dressed up as Beelzebub every day. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, they do got some holidays to, to do that. You know what I'm saying? But just the vibration, the energy in the air, like, when you wake up in the morning, yeah. I'm saying, like, you can just feel the, 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 the negativity in the air. You can feel the dark cloud of wickedness in the air, man. And you can also see that the wrath of the Lord is, is upon this earth. I know I can feel it. I can feel it intensely that the Lord is not happy at all, man. Okay. So knowing that we're in these times where the Lord, a righteousness and wickedness are getting ready to clash on a, on a high level. Okay. Good and evil are about to go to, to war on the highest level ever. How much more locked into the spirit. Okay. Locked into your how about you now shy are we to be as it says in second Peter's the third chapter. Okay. All right, so why we can we can build up a, a, a spiritual resume, man? Okay, so build up spiritual treasures in heaven. All right, so when the times of trouble come, the Lord can be like, okay, I'm going to save that individual. Okay, because while they had yet liberty, they did the things I commanded them to do. Okay, they did they did the things that I told them to do, rather than doing what it what it is that they wanted to do. Okay, and so that's the spirit that we got to be in, man. Especially, hey, persecution is coming. Okay, all right, persecution is coming. All right, and with that in mind, hey, we know Esau is building up the narrative, okay, against us. All right, we got to be in the spirit of being, hey, all the way in for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh completely dedicated with our time, okay, our resources, our, our, our energy, completely dedicated to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh as much as possible, okay, as we have our being here, okay, because the persecution that's coming, 
if you're not all the way in, you know what I'm saying? If you got reservations somewhere else in your mind and you're not completely dedicated to Yahweh Hashem, you're not going to be able to go to the next stage in the spirit, man. Okay? And we see, we've seen it in this faith. All right? We see examples in the scriptures with King Saul and Judas, okay, and other men who turned back from the Lord to do what it is that they wanted to do. We've seen that, okay? And it's always a pattern. Even in the left hand, magic is like that. You got to be all the way in to go to the next level. You can't have no reservations of shit, the fuck that you want to do. And if you got that, we either going to you're going to cut off the, the gravy train, okay? Or you're going to be called crazy, or we're going to kill you, okay? So, hey, it's a, it's a life and death situation. How much more will you have about Shemal Shai? All right, who, who, uh, you got a precept? Go ahead, bro. <coughs> Revelation chapter 22. Uh -huh. Verse uh, 12, and behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. Mm -hmm. I am Alpha and Omega, mm -hmm. the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Right, okay, so the Lord said, behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be, man. Okay, all right, hey, every man shall receive a reward according to his own labor. Mm -hmm. Okay, you have to be dedicated to your how about Shemia Shai. All right, that's a, that's something that you have to you have to have that in your mind, okay? Because the pressure is here, and the pressure is about to get even higher, okay? We're not just gonna waltz into the, into Jacob's trouble, okay? We're not just gonna we're just not we're, that's not gonna happen. We're gonna be tried, okay? And if we pass, if we continue to maintain the faith, all right, and we continue to keep the word of the Lord's patience now, and in the times to come, the Lord's gonna keep us from the occupation, okay? That's what it's about. That's what the Lord wants to see. <coughs> okay? The Lord wants to see, are you willing to be thrown in the furnace? No. <laughs> are you willing to be thrown in the furnace? That's why the scriptures talk about self-denial. Okay? Sacrifice. That's what the Bible talks about these things, man. Okay? All right? Because it, because that's going to prepare you for the mentality of, of being willing to lay your life down. Really, for real, resisting unto blood. Okay? All right, in the times to come, which none of us have resisted unto blood. Okay, so this is a training. This is a, you know, a, a, a mental, a mental um, training ground, man. The things written in the scriptures about self denial, mortifying the flesh. Okay, not making provision for the for the flesh, walking in the spirit. These are mental. These are man, mental training tools. Most high is emboldening us. Mm -hmm. All right, so to be prepared for for those times to come. Okay, and also to 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 perfect our character so that he finds us worthy of salvation. And, and that's what we want, man. We want to escape the destruction. You know? So, you have more on that? Yeah, that's what I'm jumping. Verse 7. It says, Behold, I come quickly. Blessed is he that keepeth the sayings of the prophecy of this book. Hey, blessed is he that keepeth the sayings of the prophecy of this book. Which the whole book is, is the prophecy, man. Okay? <coughs> Alright? The whole book is that. Okay? So now is the time of perfecting our love for Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, for the brethren. Now's our, our time of perfecting our addiction to the ministry, man. Because the times is coming, all right, it's not going to be about how well you understand the breakdown of Jan Daniel chapter 11, okay? All right, and, and, and second Ezra and the eagle and the feathers, you know? Those things are written there for, for us to perfect our understanding and to increase our faith so we know that the record that's written is true, Okay? But what about the, those intangible things? Walking in the spirit, love, joy, peace, long-suffering, meekness, temperance, goodness, faith, gentleness, all those things against us there is no law, okay? What about what about the Beatitudes, okay? All right, what about the things that Yahweh Shai taught on the Sermon on the Mount? What about those things, okay? All right? What about those that use the world as not abusing it, okay? Those that have wives and families be as though they have none. All of those things. Okay, all of those things. All right, we have to put ourselves in that mindset. Okay, we have to put ourselves in that mindset. We have to get more into that mindset, which the scriptures talk about in the book of Acts. Those that addicted themselves to the ministry, man. Okay, you have to be truly addicted. Okay, you got to be truly addicted to this thing, man. All right. Good job, good job. It's because you quoted it. This is uh, First Corinthians chapter seven and verse. Uh, to like First Corinthians chapter seven and verse um, twenty nine, it says, "But I say, so I, but but this I say, brethren, the time is short; it remaineth 
that both they that have wives be as though they had none, right? We know that brothers have wives, but the ministry come first, man. You know, the time the Lord said the time is short. You know, we not we're not here to to build up a, a empire in this in this society, man. We are here to get our daily bread. You know, do what we gotta do, work, labor. You know, to feed to feed our house. But this ministry is first. You know, and and then then those things are. Uh, we take care of those things, but the ministry is first, right? right. And and you know the, the women who are associated with the men of the Lord, and you know things like that. You know what I'm saying? Because you got women that are are you know wives to prophets and stuff like that. You know, if you call yourself being a believer, okay, or one of the sisters, you have to understand that you got you got to put your wants and desires to the side too. Yeah. Okay. Or else, why are you wearing why are you wearing the head wrap and saying shalom? Okay, this is serious business, man. There are women in the Bible who watch their sons, seven of their children, seven of their sons get put to death, alive, tortured, not just put to death, tortured, and then put to death. <coughs> From the oldest to the youngest. Okay, you gotta see, you, you gotta consider that, man. All right, what about JL and Susanna and how they were moving in, Rebecca and, and Esther? You know, Ruth and Naomi and, you know, Rachel and Leo. You got to consider these things, man. Because the scriptures tell you how you know, oh, vain man, whether you're going to save your wife and how you know, oh, wife, whether you're going to save your husband, man. If you profess in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, scriptures say that everyone who professes the name of Yahweh Shai depart from iniquity. Okay? That's what the Bible says, man. You know, your husband who's a man of the Lord or your wife who might believe if you're a non-believer. They may believe, and the Lord may want them to be saved. But that doesn't mean that that's going to automatically apply to you. You have to do what you need to do according to the Bible yeah. to make sure that you're in the good graces of Yahweh Shai, man. That's what, that, that's, we, we got to get in that mindset, man. Instead of just thinking this going to be all good and dandy, man. The Lord is not playing. The Lord said, hey, uh, go, hey, I go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations of, that be done in the midst thereof. And to the others he said in mine hearing, go ye after him through the city and smite, slay utterly old, young, both maids and little women, and children and women. And started the ancient men. Rise up, ye women that are at ease in Zion. All of these things, nobody's exempt. Old, young, not exempt. Not exempt. Go ahead. Because 1 Corinthians 7 and verse um, verse 29 says, But this I say, brethren, the time is short, it remaineth, that both they that have wives be as though they had none, and they that weep as though they wept, wept not, and they that rejoice as though they rejoice not, and they that buy as though they possess not, and they that use this world as not like, as not abusing it for the fashion of this world passes away. Right? And the, fa the fashion of this world is going to pass away. The Lord says he's, he's uh, going to create a new heaven and a new earth where endures the righteousness, man. Mm -hmm. That's when we're going to really live. That's when we're going to really rejoice and be at rest because this is not our rest. So this ministry, it comes first. You know? Right. Yep. You're not yoked with this world. Right. Yeah. You got to mm -hmm. use it. But we understand this shit is going to pop off any day. So That's you right. constantly mm -hmm. in the spirit. You're constantly praying. You're you repenting. You understand that what you in. When you came to this truth, you heard that nuclear missile was going to hit this place, and you've been hearing it since. You preach it, you know? You see these things coming to pass, you've been watching, you know? So you do what you have to do, but understanding that, hey, when it's going to be time to move, it's going to be time to move. The scripture talk about being as pilgrims in that day. you got to meditate upon that. So when it happens, shit, oh, it's in the scriptures, too, you know? You know what I'm saying? Or whatever it may be. When the persecution happens, the Lord already told us about it. You know, you guys, and really even look forward to it. Yes. You know, you're supposed to be looking, really look forward to them taking off all, all, everything off of YouTube and then, and, and then trying to persecute us and watch how the angel of the Lord persecute them. That's right. right. You know? Right. Yep. And that's beautiful you said that because that's why if our elders um, always push out, especially Apostle Hart, y'all need to be raising hell. You need to put more videos up, all right, so they can just shut this shit down, man, all right? And that's what our ancestors were doing in Rome. We were, okay, when they, uh, when they found out about Yahweh Shah, they were raising hell, preaching the word in Rome, all right? And that's why that decree came out, they got kicked out of Rome. What was it? Uh, Claudius. Claudius, you know? 
All right, that's how that's the spirit you're supposed to be in, man. Because hey, man, this place is full of wickedness. <clears throat> right? We go into it all the time, all the all the nasty shit that goes on, pedophilia. All right, uh, un, unrighteous decrees with this whole jabberoni shit. All right, so yeah, man, and that's why you need to be locked in more in the spirit and pay attention to the prophecies, so you're gauging it, so you don't fuck yourself up. Right. Mm -hmm. I got some. I got yeah. some. You got some. Bring out what you got. Some. Okay. Okay. Come. On. Uh, Second Corinthians chapter four. I'm gonna start at thirteen. We have the same spirit of faith, according as it is written. I believe, and th and therefore. I have spoken. We also believe and therefore speak. And that's how we're moving, man. All right? And that's what, what it, if you believe in this truth, this is how you're supposed to be moving. That's right. All right? Speak this truth. Be in season, out of season. Do the work. All right? Okay? Don't just talk about it. Be about it. That's right. right. Continuing on, 14. Knowing that he which raised up the Lord, Yahweh Shai, shall raise up also us also by Yahweh Shai and shall present us with you. 15. For all... Things are for your sakes that the abundant grace might, through the thanksgiving of many, redound to the glory of the Most High. 16. For which cause we faint not, but though our outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. And how are we renewed day by day? These scriptures. Okay? The prophecies which are literally, okay, speaking of the Lord's, all right, return. All right? By you gauging and seeing what's going on, hey, the, script, the scriptures are really saying, hey, hey, the Lord's returning, man. Um, continuing on, 17. For our light affliction, and this is our, our light affliction, okay? If you really think about it, all right, this is all you got to do is turn on the local news, man. Jake is getting fucked up, yeah, left yeah. and right, all right? Why? They're not seeking the Lord, all right? So us in the light affliction, going to work, all right, paying our, okay, our bullshit bills, man, that's a light affliction, man. It really is, man. Continuing on. Which is but for a moment, work it for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. 18. While we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. Talking about the kingdom of heaven. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. And that's the mindset you got to have, man, because this is temporary. All right? Like the cap saying, nuclear missiles, all right, are coming. All right? We see that, man. You hear the, 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 war, the rumors of wars and rumors of wars. So this shit is temporal. All right? So you got to get in the mindset of thinking upon the kingdom of heaven. And it starts by, with this ministry, pushing the word out, all right, being charitable, being brotherly, all right, and of course, all right, being responsible while you wait on the Lord. That's right. Mm -hmm. I'll back you up. Mm -hmm. um, book of Ephesians 5 and 15. See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. Redeeming the time because the days are evil. We know what the times we're coming into, man. So you walk circumspectly, man. And really, all this time is for us to get closer to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah and to be built up as men in the spirit, as men, you know, holding ourselves accountable, being men. So when shit pop off, look, we blame us before the Heavenly Father, man. You know? And the Lord going He's going to make ways for brothers to to get different type of deliverances in these times, man. But don't walk as a fool in these times, you know? Don't be like, okay, you know, you just just cast everything to, to the fucking wind. You walk as wise because that's what the Heavenly Father is asking us to do. It's not asking, telling us to do through the Spirit. So see then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. And we come into a time in which it says in Amos chapter 5, hey, once that persecution pop off, hey, brother's going to be... Gonna, gonna, gonna be um, quiet, man. Mm -hmm. It said the prudent shall keep silence in those days. We go out, we preach this word, post these videos up, live your life, and in, 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 in according to the straight gate, man. Simple, Simple. you know what I'm saying? Be and be circumspect out here in this in in, in this world, man. You know, mm -hmm. and if you got it, go ahead and get you some. It's it's not a sin to get you some fucking water in your cuppers. You know, like the elders, um, Malcolm always goes into, man. If your shit empty, put you something in there that's being wise. But <coughs> understanding that it's the Heavenly Father that's going to keep us through, through these times. But verse 16, it says, Redeeming the time because the days are evil. Wherefore, be not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. And be not drunk with wine, wherein is excess, but be filled with the Spirit. So more and more, hey, trimming. Like Lloyd just said, you know, trimming, doing what you got to do according to your spirit. You got to look in the mirror and examine your own self, man. 
You know? Be honest and be honest. Bro. Like, That's right. Mm -hmm. You know? Speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord, giving thanks always for all things unto the Most High and the Father in the name of our Lord, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. That need to be done more too. Because you want your relationship with Yahweh Shah Hamashiach to be tight when this thing kick off, man. Sure. So, getting up in the morning, praying, reading, reading more, you know? Being charitable, doing all those things before you have Hashemi Shai, having your relationship with him more. So when shit pop off, your, your faith is up here. You feel more and more the, the power and the presence of the Lord. You know? In verse 21, submit yourselves one to another in the fear of the Most High. So that goes into the ministry, man. Yeah. Submitting ourselves one to another. Because, hey, man, we, we all came in this thing. And so, soon, when, when we came in it, and now and moving forward, this, it's, it's a whole ministry. It's a whole body. It's about the body. It's not about you. It's not about you. It's not about you. It's not about me. It's about us all. And shit gonna pop off in which, hey, you're gonna have to house brothers that probably you never met before. You know? Mm -hmm. and, or vice versa. Right, which the scriptures talk about that. And that's all throughout Hebrews. Okay, you read that in Acts. You read that in the epistles. Okay? And you also um, read it even in First and Second Samuels, man. All right, King David was on the on the run. He had to be sojourned places. Okay, he was catching different types of hell. He had to leave his city and go different places to go lodge with other believers. Same thing with, with first and second kings with Elijah and Elisha. Yeah. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Even going back to Genesis, that's how we always move. The scriptures talk about lodging a stranger, man. Okay. All right. So it's just hey, things happen, man. And things are, a lot of things are getting ready to happen. Okay, more and more. Okay. Our brothers are gonna find themselves in tighter situations, man. Okay, all right. We have to be we have to be built up in the spirit enough to be willing to to um, go go the extra length for the for the brethren, man. All right, for the believers, man. Go the extra mile for brothers. Okay, all right. Bearing each other's burdens. Christians talk about, um, you know, we we that are strong bear the uh, ought to bear the infirmities of, of the weak and not to please ourselves, man. Okay, all right. Paul talked about in the book of Hebrews, man, how they took joyfully the spoiling of their goods, knowing that they had more of, of an enduring substance. In the heavens, man. Okay, so things are like that are going to happen, and they they have happened. Okay, and it's a potential that they may happen, uh, you know, more. Just gonna say what whatsoever things were, were written for time were written for our learning. Okay, all right, that which is then is now. Okay, all right, so hey, hey, that's that day. That's that's the times we living in. Okay, that's the times we living in, man. So hey, let's let's lock in. Okay, yeah. which brothers in this faith. By now, you should already know how to be responsible. You should already know how to fucking pay your bills and shit. You should already know how to do that. That's second nature. Okay. Right, because the Gentiles do it. And here, and here's the thing, too, with that whole situation, with that. Hey, regardless, you got to pay your bills. Regardless. Everybody has to do it. All right? This, this is the condition of the battle. All right? Just throwing that out there. You know, right, right. Which, I mean, mm -hmm. shit, um, you know, um, <clears throat> since the beginning, the Most High created labor. Adam and Eve are working in the garden. It tells you that in Genesis. Okay? Um, and you, in the scriptures, you got the law of the Hebrew servant. All right? Men and women and children. That Those laws apply to. So, hey, those things are just part of it. <laughs> it's just yeah. part of it. <laughs> and it makes sense because you don't want to have more trouble or, or more, you know, hell that you're putting on yourself or more weight upon yourself or the ministry in these times to come too. So just to walk, you know, just walk circumspectly in that sense, you know? Don't just be thoughtless, you know, because that's all part of the ministry as well, man, you know. But first of all, there's truth, first and foremost, you know, because you got to get your faith up, man. Your faith needs to be built up. You have to watch, you have to watch videos. You have to read. You have to, you have to be around the brothers, you know. You have to pray more. Apostle Gabar always go into praying, man. This Now is the time to be praying a whole lot more, man, and giving, giving a lot of more thanks, too. Come on. See how far that gets you, you know. First Peter five, I said seven. Cast out all your care upon him, for he cares mm -hmm. for you. Yeah. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walks about seeking whom he may devour. So you gotta be vigilant in spirit, you know, watching, praying, mm -hmm. as the brothers were saying. You can't be out here, you know, <coughs> not paying attention. Either. You know, the devil is saying snares for you. You fall right. in the snare. So you got to constantly be watching in the spirit. Right. You, you point 
my friends out here. Nope. <laughs> nope. Nope. You know, see your, who's your real family? And y'all already said it. Them that do the will of the Father, man. That's right. The Lord about mm-hmm. to burn these people alive, man. And That's we pray right. that we miss that. You know, mm-hmm. that we be up in the chariots and that happen. The Lord don't fuck with these people, man. Mm-hmm. You know? So we're always and everything praying, understanding the time that we in. These people going to persecute us for, 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 for preaching and teaching and believing in Yahweh Shemi Yahweh Shai. That's right. You know? I got one. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 4, verse 28. It says, Strive for the truth unto death, and the Lord shall fight for thee. Right. You know, going with the tone of, the, of this video, the title, the, the, the times at hand, <coughs> hey, this, hey, hey, this the time. Hey, we don't know, we don't know what, we, we pray that we have to let. We don't know who we were in our past lifetimes, but we know what it is right now. The Lord gave us his truth. And he got us, you know, in the ministry, preaching his word. Our faces are on YouTube, yep. you know. They know what we stay. They know all of these different things. Mm-hmm. And this is a time in which you're going to have to prove that you're really down for Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah, you know. And we pray that he have his spirit upon us and increase that zeal when that time, in that time, in that moment, in whatever situation. Mm-hmm. And the Lord going to fight for you in these times, man. Right. You know, strive yeah. for the truth. Hey, we're going to have to, and that could be, hey, they're going to have a brother face up on CNN. You gonna have, you gonna have to stand stand ten toes down for your brother. Hey, mm-hmm. hey brother. Uh, you know, for your brothers, right? Yeah. Not a hey, brother. Yeah. Brothers gonna be all up on the shit. Uh, <laughs> yeah, hey, that's how it's coming. That's, that's how, how it's coming. coming. That's why. That's how it's coming, bro. It's coming straight like that, man. Uh, let's go, man. But right. you have to be in that mentality now. <laughs> you yep. gotta you gotta be in that mentality now. It's not a mentality you just like L. R. Yala says. You ain't just gonna. Shit gonna hit the fan. You just gonna hop into a slim gym. If you ain't doing it now, if you're not in that mentality now, you're not gonna be in that mentality then. And we have seen it happen multiple times. We have we we done seen it happen in this camp. Niggas want to put they women. They want to put their job. They want to put the they fucking diet. They want to put they want to put their family, their sisters in front of the ministry, in front of the brotherhood. And then when they was faced with that test, they folded like a motherfucking lawn chair. Okay, and that's how it goes down. That, that's how it goes. It always go down like that, man. Even Judas, okay? Hey, Yahusha called him out for being a thief. Next thing you know, he's selling, he's selling Yahusha for some 50 shekels. That's how it goes down. It's always a pattern, bro. So you got to make sure that you maintain a pattern of good works. I want to say the um, the um, elder Ar- Ramlab did a, 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 video, a video today, Apostle Ramlab. He did a video called... Um, uh, uh, frequencies. Uh, he, he brought here. brought out a certain word. Mm-hmm. Okay, in com in Forget what it, what it was. All right, but basically it means to to um you know to make something of a, a behavior by constant repetition. Okay, so if you constantly in the spirit of you know of putting the ministry first, putting the brethren first, man, putting those things first, then when shit hit the fan, when you face with that test, that's what, that's gonna be your first reaction. Why? Because you've already groomed yourself to be that way. That's why scripture talk about what the Jews by nature, okay? All right, Jake doing the thing, doing things as a law to themselves because after generation of practice, generation of keep doing the same thing over and over again, and over and over again, it becomes second nature. Now your mind is already built for that, okay? But if you're not doing it now in the least things, which yeah, I wish I talked about it. He said you you not being faithful in the least things. I'm gonna take your talent and give it to somebody else. All right, but if you're faithful in the least things, the most I gonna Flip that talent and give you more. And you see that happen over and over again. All right? Mm-hmm. You see that happen over and over again, man. Okay? Yep. The Most High does that. The Most High mm-hmm. gives somebody a little. The, the, scriptures, the scriptures talk about that. All right? There's one that's slow in need of help. Okay? And full of poverty. Yet the Most High looked up at, upon him for good and, and set from his lowest state. Mm-hmm. All right? So that when m- many who saw it were uh, uh, marveled, man. Okay? So the scriptures talk about that. Okay? The Most High gives somebody... Very little, and they just keep flipping it, keep working it, keep working it, and then boom, most I give them more. Okay, yep. All right, so that's how it goes, man. You gotta already be in that mind frame. You already gotta be in that spirit. Okay, yep. it's not just something that you're just gonna be able to hop right into. It doesn't work that way. <laughs> um, I got a quick Bible quiz, y'all. Is uh this book of Judges chapter five and verse eleven it says, "They that are delivered from the noise yep. of the archers, <coughs> the noise of the archer talking about those missiles." I said. Says in the places of drawn water, drawn water represents like slavery. Like uh, slave, they would draw water. Like that's the, we in we in slavery right now. Mm-hmm. Those who deliver from the missiles in the places of drawn water means slavery. Says there sh- shall they, there shall they rehearse the righteous acts of the Most High, even the righteous acts towards the inhabitants of his villages in Israel, 
then shall the people of the Lord go down to the gates of the they for the, the elect. They're gonna be, be rehearsing the righteous acts. Like they're mm -hmm. gonna be keeping the, the, the laws the best they command the best of their ability. Like keeping a, a high holy days, you know, keeping the Sabbath the best of their ability. Like uh, being in this ministry, you know, giving their life over to Yahweh Bashi Mashad. Because that's why we was born on earth. We were born on earth to, to push his word and to serve the Lord. To fear, fear the Lord and keep his commandments. That's the whole duty of man. Mm -hmm. If I may add, you know, the whole uh, rehearse the righteous hat is so powerful because, yeah, you could turn on the camera and be Hebrew Israelite 101, you know, pa ba ba ba. When that camera's off, how are you when that camera's off? And that's what that's talking about. How are you when that camera's off? All right, nobody's watching, just the angels and the Lord, man. That's what that's talking about, man. You, this is a, okay, uh, uh, this is our culture, it's our heritage, and you, you gotta understand, this is 24-7, man, seven days a week, man. All right, I just wanna make that point. Yep, because what, mm -hmm. what happens when the camera goes off, that's the stuff that's <coughs> either gonna get you saved or destroyed, right. man. Exactly. You know, because really, cause mm -hmm. at the end of the day, the Most High is the judge. Mm -hmm. He knows. You can't bullshit him, you can't mm -hmm. bullshit yourself. You know, no brother, you know, he, no one can condemn you. No one could give, could lift you up on a chariot but the Most High. So you should be walking with fear, which will be your treasure in that time. That's why it's important to be in the spirit more. You need to read. You got to be reading. You you, you, you got to be reading and praying, you know, and watching and applying. You know, if I bring this out to back you up. See, right, and you got to use the Bible as a reference book, too. Yeah. Because you can read, you know, but when something happens, you, know, you refer back to what the scriptures say. Right. Mm -hmm. Or do you want to do you come up with your own, with what you want to do? <laughs> right. Because that's what that's what it be with Jake, man. The scriptures even tell you that. All right, they sit before you as my people, and they hear thy words, but they will not do them. Okay. And we gotta again when we when we face with these types of situations, when we got when we face with those decisions, the spirit or the flesh, you gotta put yourself. Okay. Hold on. The Bible's talking about me and my people. Okay. If I make the wrong decision. I'm probably one of the reasons why Jeremiah was pissed off. If I make the wrong decision, this is what Ezekiel was talking about. <laughs> if I make the wrong decision, this is the shit Isaiah was saying about Israel, shit. bro. If you make Stop flattering yourself, bro. Stop flattering yourself. If you make the wrong decision and you keep making the wrong decisions, you, just, you one of the niggas Moses was talking about to the Lord. Lord, kill me. I can't deal with these niggas. You don't want to be that. You want to be the person, all right, <coughs> heard the word, and they they did it. That's what you want to do. The scriptures talk about deceiving your own selves, man. Being a hero of the word and not a doer, man. And that goes to a lot of things, man. Okay? That goes to a lot of things, man. All right? Not just going to camp and doing videos and reading and praying. Because guess what? The Pharisees and the Sadducees had a camp that they went to. That's they right. were in the temple. They were reading. Okay, I'm pretty sure they wrote letters one to another. They didn't have internet back then. Okay, all right. They they used to go to the temple. They kept the high holy days. But if your righteousness do not surpass the righteousness of the scribes and the Pharisees and the Sadducees, you shall in no case enter the kingdom of the Most High, because they say they do not. Right, right. Do not as they as they do. You know. Mm -hmm. But his book of Revelation 3 and 10, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, which goes back to these scriptures, man. Mm -hmm. Suffering with Yahweh Shai and following these laws to the best of your ability, mm -hmm. loving the most high with all your heart, loving the brothers with all your hearts, but to the best of your ability, you know, being a brother, being charitable, listening to counsel when brothers are speaking to you, you know, doing all these things, holding each other accountable, being a man, because you ain't going to be a man and stand up in that day if you can't be a man now either. You ain't going to be a brother in that day if you can't be a brother now. You ain't going to be holy in that day if you can't be holy now. You know? You're still in, all into other shit that really takes you away from the most high. Whatever takes you away from this truth, that's a fucking problem. Yeah. You know? The Lord, we all got our different spirits, our different walks. You know? But as long as it's according to that straight gate and you keeping the word of the most high's patience, this is what's going to happen. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. So you will be kept if you've been keeping or attending to carefully this truth, man. You know, hearing these words, applying them, putting off the old man, looking out for, for, for the bros in your camp, you know, looking out for the different bros. Hey, like, like you go into, you care about feeding bros? The Lord will give you spiritual power to feed bros. You know what I'm saying? Right. 
Yep. You know? Yep. Hey, that's true. Mm-hmm. And scripture say, "Be not slow to visit the sick, man." Yeah. Yep. So thou shalt make yourself to be beloved. That's right. Mm-hmm. The heck, you got a brother that's in the camp that's sick, that's sickly. Why are you not calling, checking up on the brother? Why are you not doing that? Why are you not praying for the brother? Why are you ain't checking to see how the brother doing? Why are you not doing that? You expect the most high to give you power to heal? You don't even have the compassion. You don't even have the compassion. You want the most high to give you power to fly to a, a whole different part of the world, but you can't go the extra mile for your brother? Bogus. Bogus. That's bullshit, man. We see how Yahweh Shai lived, lived his life, man. We see how the judges of Israel lived their life, how King David lived his life. They were all the way in. There's a reason why the Most High made Moses leader of Israel, man. He went out to go see how his peoples was doing, and he didn't like it, man. He killed the Egyptian. Then he hit him, hit him in the sand. Then he went out again. He saw his brethren fighting. He tried to, he tried to be a, tried to reconcile the situation. They said, "Who made you lord over us?" Oh shit! The word got out. I gotta run. The Most High said, "You're gonna go back and lead my people out of Egypt." That's how the Most High gets down. That's right. Oh, King David. Oh, okay. Oh, you like tending to the sheep? <laughs> oh, you defend them against lions and bears? Yep. Really? Oh, I'm gonna make you shepherd over my people Israel. That's how the Most High get down. And now that's right. And now that you, the true shepherd will come. Now the true shepherd gonna come through you. Yeah. Right. That's how the Lord get down. That's how the Lord. That's how the Lord get down, bro. That's right. Okay. It's not the other way around, <clears throat> man. And it's what, what whatever measure you got, you can't be in that spirit of holding back. Cause the Most High see that shit. The Most High is counting that that madness that you want. He's seeing it. He's watching you. He watching you. And he's giving you examples <coughs> on how to be. He's watching all the time. So you gotta consider that. You gotta consider that, man. Okay? You gotta consider that. Be all the way in, man. You gotta really be addicted to your how about shimmy how shy, man. And doing what he says, man. Why you call you me Lord, Lord, and do not the things that I say? From Samuel to all the prophets pro- prophesied of Deuteronomy 18. Okay? Deuteronomy 18. The Lord will raise up a prophet unto you of your brethren like unto me. Him shall ye hear all the things that he commands you. And whosoever will not listen to the words of that prophet shall be destroyed from among, among the people, man. The Lord will destroy your ass. The Lord will kill you if you're not obedient, man. The Lord will fuck your shit up. Okay? So keep that in mind, man. Keep that in mind. Do as it is written, man. Do as it is written. Be all the way in for Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. Why not? You was we was all the way in for wickedness. We was all the way in for wickedness, man. It's our fault that the world is in the condition that, that it's in. A lot of the wickedness that Esau does to our people, he learned that from us. So shall thou teach thy wicked one, the wicked ones thy ways. The Bible says that. So how much more to be all the way in now? Considering what it was your mind to go astray from the most high, so being you return, seek him ten times more. You gotta really be in love with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. I charge you, O ye daughters of, of Jerusalem, when ye find my beloved, that you tell him that I am sick of love. Okay? This is um, Matthew chapter 18, verse, uh, <coughs> verse 27. It says, Then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have therefore? And Yahweh Shai said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration when the Son of Man shall, vi- shall sit in the throne of his <coughs> glory, ye shall also sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. That's right. So yeah, hey, Peter asked, hey Lord, we forsook all, man. These men had businesses, they had wives, they had family. They had things going for themselves, man. Matthew, the tax collector. Mm-hmm. Okay? Alright, Peter it, it was fisherman. You know what I'm saying? They had things going on. Paul the Pharisee, Luke the physician, all these men had things going on with their lives. Even Moses, the son of Pharaoh's daughter, man. Okay? The son of Pharaoh's daughter left all the riches of Egypt to go suffer with the people of the Most High, man. Even Yahweh had everything, man. Okay? 
The prince of the universe had everything, man. He left it all, man. Okay? But if you want to forsake all, the Lord's going to give you a, a rulership, dominion, man. Okay? Verse 29, it says, And everyone that hath forsaken houses or brethren or sisters or fathers or mother or wife or children or lands for my name's sake shall receive an hundredfold and shall and, and shall inherit everlasting life. Okay? And shall inherit everlasting life. So you have to be willing to forsake all that you have, man. Which Yahweh I said, whosoever will not forsake all that he has, <clears throat> he cannot be my disciple, man. Right. Okay? You cannot be the Lord's disciple, man. Alright? If you're not willing to forsake everything, man. And the Lord's going to bless you if you're willing to forsake it with a hundredfold. And you got to truly believe that, man. Okay? Quick, please, sir. Go ahead. It's Matthew 24, verse 46. Blesses that servant whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. Mm -hmm. That's right. Verily I say unto you, that he shall make him ruler over all his goods. Mm -hmm. But, and if that evil servant shall say in his heart, my Lord, the Lord is coming, and shall begin to and shall begin to smite his fellow servants. I'm going to just start right there, but the point is that verse uh, 46, blesses that servant whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. Right, blesses that servant when, when he cometh, uh, when the Lord cometh, shall find so doing. So it's going to come a point in time where, hey, guess what? We're not going to be able to go out on the highways and byways and do this work in this ministry. Are you still going to be a brother then? When you're not having constant videos, pumping out, you know what I'm saying, telling you, be brotherly and, and you know to and to fear the Lord. Are you still gonna fear the Lord then? Okay. The Lord wants to see, all right, when shit shuts the hell down, okay, all right, <coughs> are you still gonna be in it to win? Okay? You gotta be in that spirit, man. Or just being with it, man. And the Lord is looking to see. The Lord is looking to see, man. Okay. Alright, uh Matthew chapter eight. Verse 30 it says but many that are first shall be last and the last shall be first man. Okay. All right So if you put in, if you put in anything in this world a uh, first over you how about you now? the Lord gonna put your ass last That's right. mm -hmm. Okay, he gonna put your ass last Okay, but if you put everything last for you, how about you now? Shot he gonna put you first, right? <laughs> Simple. Right. He gonna keep you in that time to come so, mm -hmm. Like King David said man the Lord gonna strengthen your heart, you know He's gonna mm -hmm. keep it if, if you've been doing what you're supposed to be doing in in the spirit. And the Yahweh Shemi is a judge. That's why at the end of the day you got to fear him and you got to serve Yahweh Shemi Shai to please him. You know, not man. You know, not the camera. You got to please Yahweh Shemi Shai. So when 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 judgment come down, the Lord deems you meet for repentance. You That's know, right. meet for salvation and deliverance. You know. But if you've been doing what you're supposed to do in the spirit, the Lord's gonna have it to when that time come. He's not going to allow you to fold. You know, he's going to, he's going to have it, it, Lord willing, it is written, you ain't going to fold. You're going to stand in the paint, and Yahweh Shemiah Shah going to gonna send angels or a brother to come to deliver you from a situation or whatever it may be. Right, so get you that know? in Psalm 27, okay? Yeah. Get that in Psalm 27. Yeah. All right, one Psalm thing have I desired of the Lord, because it's something that comes as a prerequisite <laughs> to all of that deliverance. Mm-hmm, that's right. Okay, um, Psalm 27. Start Shoot. where you want to start, it's from the top, wherever. Yeah, verse 1, the Lord is my light. Is you know so that has to be something currently going on. You can't be bullshitting the Lord. You got to have your relationship with Yahweh Shemiah Yahushua and doing what He say. You know, doing what these scriptures say, man. Using these examples from the man. We got the examples in the scriptures from Genesis to Revelation. We got the wisdom scriptures to rock on how to move and do everything. Even as we waiting on Yahweh Shemiah Yahushua. This is a light, and it keeps us. It's Yahweh Shemiah Yahushua. So the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though a host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise against me, in this will I be confident. And confident means what? With faith, man. Right. Mm -hmm. You're going to have faith that when shit pop off, the Lord going to keep us. Because you you walking in, to the best of your ability right now before the Heavenly Father. Mm -hmm. And that faith is given from him anyways. And it, it, it's going to be points. Hey, we at the end. So, hey, brothers been talking about it. And when you came into this truth, you saw the videos with, with the effects. With, with, they shooting guns and it's bouncing off of you. Hey, you got to have that faith now. Because, yeah, it's, it's going to. 
And Esau can come with a whole fucking troop in a host. Hey, because if that's not your faith, what is? What are you going to do when martial law kicks off and these troops, the UN troops roll into your cities and they just break it in your houses, terrorizing shit? What's your faith going to be? You be the if it's not that, then what? It's right. going to be taking that shit. <laughs> right, there you go. Or dying. Yep. Hey, verse 4, one thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Right. That's how Esau will get down. Take the fucking chip and he still shoot you in the head. Right. So this is it. <laughs> this is it. This is it. This is uh-huh. the only way. Uh-huh. This is it. This, all, this is the only option for us, man. Yep. Verse 4, one thing have I desired of the Lord that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. So that's now. <coughs> Ain't no days off. Me and the spirit grow. Hey, they got even even in the world, like with sports and shit, let me get one percent better every day. Right. You know, it may be on something. Let me pray better. Let me let me put something together. Hebrew. Whatever it is, man. Be a brother. Make sure, you know, you know, do 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 a deed. <laughs> the Lord gonna judge you for your deeds, man. In your faith. So it says, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. To behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. Right. One thing have I desired of the Lord. That's right. That, may, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. To behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his, in his temple, man. Mm-hmm. So it comes back to that desire. If you say your faith is in that the Lord is going to save you, then that means that your whole desire is supposed to be into pleasing the Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shad, man. Yep. Yep. And doing what he says, man. Looking for the opportunity to do the right thing and do good for Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shad. Which you do that, of course, toward the Lord, but you also do that to the man next to you, man. All right, because the scriptures say, how can a man say that he loved the Most High whom he has seen if he don't love the man, he, you know, who, whom he have not seen if he don't love the brother that he <coughs> see? It doesn't add up, man, because we, as scriptures say, what well, we are made in the image of Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai, man. So you can't say that you love the Heavenly Father and you don't love the brethren, man. You can't say that you love the Heavenly Father, all right, but then you shut up your bowels of compassion for your brothers, man. You, that doesn't work. It doesn't work that way, man. Okay, because if you're like that, then that means you're you're as one who loveth and maketh a lie. And the scriptures say those types of people gonna be cast into the lake of fire, man. That's right. All right, and he that opposite of love is hate, and he that hated his brother is a murderer, man. You a fucking murderer, and no no murderer hath eternal life dwelling in him. Okay, don't don't want to be like that, man, because the pressure is on and it's coming tighter too, man. Yeah. If you if you got that spirit now, when the brother's face is on the news, you for the bounce, nigga. You for, the, you for the fold. And we seen it, bro. We seen it, bro. We, seen it, we pr- actually predicted it. Yep. We predicted it many times. Oh, that nigga for the fold. Why? <laughs> next next year, oh, the nigga fold. He putting everything uh, up, up in, front of, in front of the brotherhood and the ministry. Everything in front of studying and the ministry. He saw a step to him. Oh, this, ain't, this ain't for you. You don't understand how serious this is. <laughs> because right. why, why, why did you fold? You were building a pattern to fold. Right. It exactly. wasn't like it just happened overnight. You're building the pattern. You're showing that you're not sincere in this truth. You're, you're not, not all the way in. You're not all the way in. Mm-hmm. You're not being brotherly. Okay. You're, uh, you're constantly, this even how you conduct yourself coming to camp. All right. Showing up to camp. Things like that. It, it, it builds a pattern. Brothers see it. We see it. And then you're like, yeah, eventually. Where is he at? Right. Gone. We, like, we could tell you a right, million right, times. Right. We done seen it a million, a million mm-hmm. times, bro. Mm-hmm. We done seen it a million times. Oh, he building up this pattern. Oh, there mm-hmm. you go. Yep. He keep doing it. Oh. Yep. And, he, and we tell him, help yep. mm-hmm. reprove and rebuke and the spirit calling him out. Oh, and then, oh, who? It is. Oh, and, and you show mercy. Like the scripture say, you you even mercy. though you see it, you <laughs> still. Yeah. Yeah, the long suffering. You right. still exhort with all long suffering and there doctrine. Because mm-hmm. sometimes you got to punch Jake in their gut. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, it spiritually punches Jake in the gut, make it hurt. And, and scriptures say the sword shall pierce through our own heart also. And you you pierce it, and then you twist the sword, yeah. And then you bind up the wounds, and then else they're the same shit. And then the, the tests come, same thing over and over again. Izar, Yawana, Q, Kamash, Razan, Kalan, Hadar, Karadzad, boom, 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 fold. Right. Mm-hmm. Fold like a bitch ass nigga. Because <laughs> you're doing it for the wrong reasons, like you were mentioning earlier. Yeah. You're doing it for the camera. Right. You're, you're doing it for men. Mm-hmm. And when, when, whenever those are the scenarios, when that test comes, you're gonna fold like a goddamn lawn chair. Right. Mm-hmm. You see, and the brother named it. We witnessed it that many times. Mm-hmm. We, more times than that. Right. <laughs> you know. Right. More times right. than that. We just said they 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 what we said they fell out before they fell out. Right. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Yep. And the thing is, they'll salute you. Don't put. Okay. 
the videos that they want to put up, but they make it seem like they're with the Lord, and then whoop, is it right? It's all act, man. And we, hey, and we've been uh, in this thing, you know, for a amount of years. We can clearly see, oh, this is an act, man. Yeah. Right? This individual just wants to show on the camera. That's why I scripture say, yeah, mm -hmm. so lucky. That's mm -hmm. why I say, get your house in order, man. Yeah. And let's talk about the camps, but let's talk about your own mind, yeah. like, even, yeah. even your own, your yeah. own house, yeah. get it in order, man, because. They, a lot of them had evil suspicions in which they weren't able to overcome. Right. You know, proud, it, 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 it became all about them. So they perceiving everything as in, rela <laughs> in relation to them own selves, man. Right. Putting themselves before the ministry or the body, mm -hmm. you know? And that's why the scripture said you have an art with a brother, bring it up. Mm -hmm. See, they weren't doing that. They're, instead of doing that, they're going, hey, mm -hmm. right. now, now look, the demon just. And it used to feel that shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's why the scriptures say don't do that shit. You bring the demons. Mm -hmm. You got to go you, you, you offending the body. Mm -hmm. You know? Brothers brothers going all out for you. Brothers doing things for you. Being a brother and you over here starting shit. You know? Right. You know? You don't want to be that, man. You want to be on point now. And we speaking from experience. I mean, this is not something we just read in the scriptures. Nah, say. That's what the scriptures say. Nah, Obviously. Sorry. But we witnessed it. Yeah, I had more on this, but if you got to put them. It was a couple of verses. But it, 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 you quoted it, so I'll bring it out. Mm -hmm. It's a second measure, chapter 14, and verse 13. It says, Now therefore set thine house in order and reprove thy people. So you got to set your house in order, and then, then you go out and reprove yeah, people. Right. People, man. Talking about who is the Lord people? You Israelites, so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. Also, the Israelite foreigners that scattered amongst the nation, man. It says now I say this, he, and, and, and that's that's another one of the culprits. Cause when you haven't got your house in order and you out reproving the people, now you're a goddamn hypocrite. Right. And <laughs> just do a work hypocrite uh, uh hypocrite word search in the blue letter. Right. Every scripture pretty much ends with the Lord gonna kill your ass. Right. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yep. Second is fourteen and thirteen says now right. therefore set thine house in order and reprove thy people people. Comfort such of <coughs> sorry, comfort, comfort such of them as be in trouble, mm -hmm. and now renounce corruption. All right, so we got comfort, comfort such as be in trouble also, man. Mm -hmm. All right, talking about the brothers, you know. That's right. Yeah. That's hey, going back. That's perfect. Going back to Psalm twenty-seven because this is this where the comfort is, and this where the salvation resides. This where the blessing resides right here <coughs> in this truth, man. Mm -hmm. So one thing have I desired of the Lord that I will seek after. That I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to behold the beauty of the Lord, which is this body, this ministry, his prophecies coming to pass, being able to see things, you know, feeling the power of Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh Shai, and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion, in the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me, he shall set me up upon the rock. So dwelling in the house of Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh Shai now, you're going to be kept. You know? So I saw 91 was there. Yep, Psalm 91. <laughs> right, that's Psalm 91, man. Mm -hmm. You know, and this is that's just how it gotta be, man. Shit. Hey, fuck everybody, man. Fuck everything and fuck everybody. Man. <laughs> fuck it. Fuck the whole shit. <laughs> fuck it. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't care. I don't care what, what mommy and daddy saying. I don't give a fuck about what your wife saying. I don't give a fuck about what your job saying. What your kids said. Fuck it, man. Okay. The scriptures say, "What the Lord is my refuge, man." That's right. Yeah. Your spirit's supposed to be a hey, shit. The Lord said it. That's right. So hey, I'm I'm gonna find comfort in that. Right. That's right. That's yeah. how, the Lord said it. That's why I'm putting it because the Lord said it. That's my comfort. That's my refuge. Uh, okay. that, that's that's what helped keep you in the faith, man. Yeah, yeah. All right. Especially you, you know, and you got you know the, when you first come into faith, you you run into that. I'm saying, oh, why are you growing your beard out? You know, oh, well, because the Bible says so. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, why you don't eat pork and shrimp? Because it's in the Bible, yeah. bitch. Yeah. Ass yeah. What the fuck is he talking like, about? Islam? Right. Right. Muslim? No, right. I just believe in the Bible. Right. You why you do doing this? this now. Yeah. Why you do this? Why you do right. that? Because it's in the Bible. That's why. Yeah. That's that's the comfort. That's yeah. what it is. And hey, once you once hey, you, you got to get to that point, you got to stay like that, man. Right. Yeah. Because scriptures talk about those who began yeah. to run well, and then they was be bewitched, man. So you got to keep with it. Right. Okay. No matter the, the extenuating cir circumstances, you either you 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 gain it. You you, you either you might probably got got a family now, or you about to lose your family. You got a job, you about to lose your job, you got to move here, you got to move there. No matter what the fuck is going on, what's coming into your life and what's getting ready to leave your life, 
this is supposed to remain the same, man. That's right. Because scripture's talking about what heaven and earth shall pass, but my word shall not pass away, man. That's right. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. And scripture say plainly, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So by doing that, if it's meant for your family to make it, they're going to make it. Right. But it starts with you. <coughs> right. It starts with you. If right. it's meant for them to make it. If right. it's not meant for them to make it, right. make it there's really nothing right. you can do. Right. right. If your mindset is, work out. Own salvation, salvation, then whatever happens is then, okay. That's on them. Amen. Right. Right. Amen. Right. Hey, hey, Acts right. chapter 16, hey, right. thou and thy house shall be saved. Right. Worry about you and your, your house, man, because you know what's about to happen. People about to be dead out in the streets, starving, famine, pestilence, and then ultimately nuclear missiles finna hit this right. shit. So you want to be up on a chariot when it comes. Right. Trust right. me, you you get up on a chariot, you ain't gonna miss nobody. Right. You hear me? Right. That, that's, that's my mindset. Get up in the chariot. Go over to me, my Akim, my bros, and my, my house, because that's that's my faith. Shit, ain't gonna miss nobody. Right. You know? <laughs> that's why I can't say fuck everything. Right. Guess what? When this shit hit the fan, guess what's gonna be on your mind? Yeah. Fuck yeah. everything. Right. I gotta get on that chair. Yeah. Yep. Right. Period, yeah. point blank. So you gotta be on it now, man. Right. That's right. So and that's why it's so beautiful that this whole fucking <coughs> scandemic <laughs> happened. Because you clearly saw yep. those that yep. were about it and those that weren't about it. All right, yep. just a little from Esau and motherfuckers folded. Folded. All right, folded. scrambling, uncertain, don't know how to. Okay, just say no, and that's why, man, this is beautiful. The times that we're in, man, right? Because it's only gonna get harder. You could have right? said no to drugs, right? right. <laughs> that's that, bro. Damn. That's right. You could have said no to drugs. No, just thinking that. That was that was the, right. the, the dress rehearsal, right? No, that shit right. wasn't even no right. dress rehearsal. Right. That was right. that, that was you know when you when you getting ready to watch the movie. And then, and then the, the Pegasus come out. Right. That's the first gallop. Right. <laughs> Not even the whole gallop with the wings. That's what. The, that's the the first stars is and then the, the it stopped because because the, 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 the DVD was scratched. Yeah. So, and then niggas folded, bro. Right. Whole camps. Whole you know. Camps. See. My you job. See? My job. They hadn't been on point. They had been preaching the right words, and the Lord gave them all right to that man. It was. Mm -hmm. It's a lot. I was gonna say it was. Right, and brothers got testimonies. Yeah. Brothers got testimonies of being exempt, okay, still holding a job, yeah. and then others, no, you don't get exemption, yeah. and you better take it or you gotta go. At the same time. At the right. same hey, spot. Look, so that up. goes to show you, man, somebody, okay, right. is doing right Let's because go. the Lord <laughs> sees, yeah, he's doing right. right. Protect him. And my shit, I'll, I'll say this, right. like, even at my job, they, they didn't make the test, uh, I'm sorry, the, the, the vaccine mandatory, mm -hmm. but they said you were supposed to get tested, you feel me? Right. And so, shit, I'm not going to let no cracker put no damn stick up my nose or right. my mouth. Fuck that shit. I already cool. got tired of Esau's right. medical system right. Right. a long right. time ago. So I bought, I bought the self-testing <laughs> self kit, and I told him, shit, I already bought it. Shit, I'm just waiting for the results. The results never came back, and I'm still working. Right. You, you just said no. Right. You <laughs> see? So we bad. Bad. Don't have those testimonies. Yeah. Just say no. You These scriptures are real. You really have to believe in, yeah. in, in, in going into mm -hmm. doing. You got to mix it with faith, too. You got to mm -hmm. believe the Lord going to defend you. Right. You know what I'm saying? I've been giving them crackers. My straight old ass to hit. <laughs> you know? <laughs> and I still work there. But, but Shaw, it's, let me finish. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to skip down to Psalm 27. It's more on his. Straight in up. Here, cause mm -hmm. the point. But verse 10 it says, when my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. So hey, this world pretty soon, everybody gonna be up against us, man. Right. That's why I stay you the know? fuck away from them as much as possible, man. Enemy number one. Right. You know what I'm saying? Shit. You know, now now granted, you got you got brothers that deal with, with their parents, shit. Of course you love your parents, you honor honor them, man, but don't be all up around them all the time, man. Because right. they got different agendas, man. They got what the fuck is on their mind, mm -hmm. you know, family and all that. They got what the fuck is on their mind, what they believe in. All right, and they looking at you and what you believe in as a threat, and you're a prey. Okay, so it's best for you to disassociate with, your, with them as much as possible, right. but still keep it cordial and friendly with them. You know what I'm saying? Right. Out of respect, out of <coughs> power, because they still are honorable people. Yeah, right. That's why the scriptures say, "Be not unequally yoked with non-believers." So of course you're gonna interact, you know, friends of the mammoth. You know what I'm saying? But don't be unequally yoked with them, Yo. like the uh, cap saying, don't. Every day you hang it on. Yeah, because yeah. we see we seen guys like that. Yeah. And they not around. They don't hold yeah. us like a lawn chair, bro. Yeah. In the law, you have it where you're not supposed to have a, a ox and an ass yoked together. Mm -hmm. They ain't gonna work the same way, man. One is stronger than the other. Right. So you're not supposed to be yoked with these people. You're not supposed to be all in with these people right. in the world. Yep. If anything, you know, 
just just to keep it real, your relationships with people, it should be profitable <laughs> until, right, until right. you, use you know, <laughs> use the world, not abusing it. Yeah. And understanding when shit pop off, this is, this is, this is, this is it right here. Right, right, right. You know? Right. So verse 11, it says, teach me thy way, O Lord, and lead me in the plain path, the straight yeah. gate. Because of mine enemies. We understand Esau is up against us. Don't ever forget that, man. Right. Yep. This man coming soon. Yep. Verse 12. Deliver me not over unto the will of my enemies, for false witnesses are risen up against me, and such as breathed out cruelty. And they're going to they gonna say all manner of evil. You're going to have people saying, like, to, to kill us. Yep. You know? Mm -hmm. Hey, you got to be ready to go. Yep. If, yep. You know, if you understand death. Right. right. If you understand death, you got to be ready to go, man. Mm -hmm. Right. And uh, hey, of course, pray that the Lord deliver you from death. Give us the spirit to face death and not fear. Right. You know what I'm saying, but, but shit. Nonetheless, but stand. <coughs> you gotta stand. Yeah, right. Right. You gotta stand. Right. 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 Faithful right. unto death. Right. right. And you right. got. And, and the scriptures right. say what? I die daily, man. It tells yeah. you that in First right. Corinthians so, right. 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 Yep. so you got to be dying daily in order to face death. That's why Paul was. On, on, on it like he was like hey mm -hmm. shit hey they want me to go to Jerusalem if I gotta die I gotta die mm -hmm. why because he was already putting everything the fuck <coughs> anyway mm -hmm. he right. was like right. fuck everything man right. dead in your house yeah. already yep. right, right. You, you feel me so hey the scriptures already say that man hey the scriptures say how death how acceptable is that is that sentence unto him that is vexed with all things and hath lost patience man <laughs> right. shit Hey, verse 13, I have fainted unless I have believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. See, that's what's going to keep you now. That's going to keep you in the time to come. <coughs> Believing for the joy that's set before us, man. Believing that the kingdom is coming. Everything that's <coughs> going on around us is leading up to the kingdom. That's that's why. Because the Lord about to come and, and turn the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem. You know? In verse 14, wait on the Lord. Be of good courage. And he shall straighten down heart. Wait, I say on the Lord. So we supposed to be waiting on Yahabashim Yahabashah now, walking that straight gate. And when shit hits the fan, he's going to straighten our heart, which he's doing now. Mm -hmm. He has straightened our heart because we was just, mm -hmm. we, we didn't know our left and our right, right before we came into this truth, man. Mm -hmm. And shit, from since we've been in this truth, even to now, shit, last year to now, the Lord has straightened our hearts, man, uh, uh, establishing us and making us more firm in the faith, man. You know, but in that time to come, he's going to straighten your heart even more. The Lord going to put, he going to pour out his spirit even more upon his men that have been walking in him, you know, to stand boldly in front of Esau Edom. Because the Lord is going to be represented well by the men that call upon his name in truth and sincerity, man. That's a lot, you know. If I may add, you know, make not haste, you know, in time of trouble. Right. You know, wait, wait to point how about Shemal Shah. Mm -hmm. You know, I just wanted to add that. Right, because the scripture say man's going by the Lord. Really, the biggest understanding in his faith is that the Most High is doing everything, right? Mm -hmm. You know, so put it on him. And and look, right now we're going through the mental process of getting ready for what's coming. But what the scriptures say, the, uh, the spirit is willing, mm -hmm. but the flesh is weak. So even though mentally we we ready for what's coming, the Lord have to 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 meet us halfway because right. our flesh are foe. Right. You're a foe. Right. Like I say, I always say. It. Got them three or four uh, flying cockroaches coming in, bitch. We we gonna be like this here, like, yeah. but we were just bold, like, you know. So, cause the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Right. So the Lord is gonna fulfill that totally, but you have to be have have been keeping the patience of His word, right, for Him to fulfill that. Right. So the patience, right? right. There you go. Long suffering, patience. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. It was many times. Up. King David said, "I was afraid." <coughs> in the Psalms, you know, but the Lord kept him and delivered him through the, through every. Situation, right? Because he was obedient. That's he right. He kept, he kept seeking after the Lord. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm saying so. You know, being afraid, but you, of course, you find the Lord as your refuge, man. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, I got this is uh, Jeremiah chapter 20, 29 verse eleven. It says, "For I know that the uh, the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end." That's right. Then shall ye come. Then shall ye call upon me, and ye shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken mm -hmm. unto you, and ye shall seek me and find me when. When you shall search for me with all your heart, okay? So we got to search for the Lord with all our heart, man. We got to really be diligent, all right, and, and, and framing our minds according to the old paths, man. Where is the good way that you may walk there, man? That's the way it goes, man. We're Israelites, man, okay? We can't reason like Americans, man, okay? We can't reason like, like we just hear and, you know, nah, man. We got to reason like, okay, this is our heritage, okay? All right, this is how we ought to live, move, and have our being. Okay, and the beautiful part is, all right, it's it's not rocket scientists because the Lord set up men 
all right, that you look to, all right, for guidance. That's the elder, that's the apostles, okay, and on, on downward, yeah. all right? And so you do that, man, you're not going to fold, you're not going to, okay, be moved, man, because you you have examples, there you go. all right, examples, okay, and, and, and Lord willing, wear those examples to the to those coming in the faith, man. There you go, apostles right? got delivered with right. that 9-11 shit. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. I don't know what uh, fucking, you know, uh, metal kind of right. small habit. Small, Small hat, yeah. 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 A closer topic. Uh, 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 you know, in your ways please the Lord. He'll cause your enemies to be at peace That's with right. me. We in the time, in, yeah, we 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 in the time right now. We seeing prophecies and these words jumping off the page. Mm -hmm. But watch how the Lord come with, with the Isaiah sixty five. On both sides of the spectrum, these people gonna starve, they gonna hunger, they gonna thirst, mm -hmm. but the Lord's elect, they gonna um, eat, drink, you know, and sing for joy of heart. I got a quick one, just real quick. Yeah. Yeah. It could be quick or long, depending yeah. on how, however y'all want it to be. Right. Since y'all quoted it, Psalms 91, <laughs> and one, it says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow mm -hmm. of the Almighty. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's it. That's, that's the bottom line, man. Because like I mentioned earlier, if this ain't your refuge, then what is? Like we say, what is your contingency plan? We, we're going to continue to ask that. What do what you, and guys come up, like the, dude, the last dude came up, mm -hmm. and he was like, well, what y'all going to do when, when nuclear missiles, oh, we're going we gonna to call on the Lord. That's we're going right. to call on the Lord. Yeah, we're going to go to the Lord. Hey, but it, it ain't as simple as that. We've been doing what the Lord asked us to do since he called us into the ministry. Right. So, you know, it's it's a process, but even in that time, we're gonna, we're gonna go to the Lord. Right. We're gonna go into the shadow of the Lord. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? That strong tower. Mm -hmm. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. That's right. I just run up into it and it's safe. Yeah, that's safe. that's what we're gonna do. Now you tell me what you're gonna do. The nigga like like his shit went to malfunctioning. Right. Like, yeah, boop, boop, like a cuckoo clock. Mm -hmm. right? Why? Because you you don't have no answers. Mm -hmm. So really what you're gonna say is look, we all gotta die. That's yep. what they always say. Right, right. We all got to die somewhere. That ain't what Yahweh Shah told the 12. Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? <laughs> we all got to die, but y'all putting masks on your face. Right. <laughs> this shit is fucked up, man. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> which, which goes to show you, man, this, is, this whole, this whole, um, how, how you fucking, how, let me see how. This, 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 uh, Fiasco. I gotta take the jab. This debacle. Yeah. Okay. Okay. This debacle. All right. <laughs> that east. That east. You know. Um. E. E. Dumia. Okay. The e, The e Dumas. All right. Came up with. Okay. That. That. That was all a, a fucking smoke and fucking mirrors, man. All right. They're talking about. War talks with Russia, man. Right. They said a, a first nuclear strike on Russia is on the table, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> and y'all worry about a mask. <laughs> that goes to show you, you people are slow. Right. You're blockheaded and you're bobbleheaded. Okay? You're not all the way up there. You're stupid than a motherfucker, right. okay? Bobbleheaded <laughs> shit. Bobbleheaded shit, bro. Because people forget. We in Judgment Day, bro. The scripture says that well, the slain of the Lord shall be many. Yeah. Okay, the slain of the Lord shall be many. So yeah. that already lets you know, okay, what, whatever, you know, whatever, you know, sickness out there, that's out there, it's not gonna, it's not gonna take out as many people as the Lord is gonna take out. Right? Yeah. You should already know that. Right. right. Because the Lord said it's gonna be multitudes of people dwelling on earth when He come back and crush them. That's what the Bible says. Yeah. So what you need to be worried about, instead of worried about everything else, everything else, <coughs> all right, this debacle, this debauchery, <laughs> this hocus pocus, this rabbit out of a hat shit that Esau is doing, what you need to be worried about is fear of the Lord. Yeah. Right. That's but right. If I may add, they smoke cigarettes, though. Right, right. So, you know, with the mask underneath they chin. They smoking cigarettes. They so concerned about the mask, but you smoking cigarettes. Right. You chewing tobacco. Right. You dipping. Right. You know, which is a beautiful example. Yeah, you you motherfuckers are swingers, man. Yeah. Y'all right. y'all share crack pipes, man. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You you eat at Burger King and McDonald's. Right. 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 Pork. Yeah. You eat right. pork. Shrimp, crab, and lobster. Still right. celebrate Halloween and Christmas. Right. You're sodomites. Right. Which, which, which goes, 
which goes <laughs> to what brothers are saying. You ain't been, you ain't been serving the Lord. So, you, so when when that little pressure came in, um, these people spoke. Right, right. You exactly. know, mm-hmm. look at T D J. Oh, right. it's a time of uncertainty. You know, <laughs> for you, <laughs> right? <leader>. For you. <laughs> <laughs> look, hey, the word preacher means prophet. Right. You're a prophet <laughs> saying this moment of uncertainty. Yeah. Yeah. The scriptures declare the end from the beginning. What are you talking about? Right. Goofy. So you got Jay. They be like, oh, I ain't gonna take the chip. Nigga, you ain't serving the Lord. Y'all bust me out shy. Right. right. You don't right. you know, understand how serious this is. Yeah, well, you, finna, you, you think you finna go into the hour of temptation eating pork and, and, and celebrating right. holidays and shit? Right. right. And you gonna be able to resist? Right. 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 Ooh. Hey, that's why, man, y'all heard this truth. So really what it is, the Lord is just perfecting his elect to get ready for, okay, all right, some serious shit. So our mind is focused, man. We have that vision, kingdom of heaven, salvation. Fuck all what y'all are, okay, getting into and what you're going to get into and all that shit because the Lord going to stop all that shit, all right? There's going to be a lot of people going to die in these last days, man. We can't say enough. It is, it, it, but... Clearly, we know that what the, the Bible says is going to happen is going to happen. Put put it like this: right. the, the severity of it shows mm-hmm. that <coughs> from the elder apostles on down, mm-hmm. we keep saying the same things every day and right. every week. Mm-hmm. That's showing you how severe it's going to be. The Lord wants to etch. <clears throat> well, really, it's going to be etched in the elect's mind because yeah. these people are not listen. They yeah. don't give a fuck. And, but the most high gonna be blamed is because look, look how many videos going up. Right. Look how many times we saying a lot of you people going. How many times have you said that? Yeah. Alone, you can't count. Yeah. So imagine every brother, all these lessons, all these shows going up. Right. That's the Lord showing you. Look, <clears throat> once He unleash, it's, it's, it's that gonna be judgment come down like water. Like yeah. When it rains, imagine every raindrop being judgment. Mm. That's mm-hmm. how the Lord getting busy with you niggas, man. Right. Yep. Look, let me read this so Z can get his precept. Verse two. It says, I will say of Yahweh Shemiah Shai, he is my refuge and my fortress. My power in, in him will I trust. Right. right. Understanding, because if you keep reading what's about to happen, you know, the, the, the noisome pestilence, man, you know, the, the, the waster, <laughs> you know, the destruction at noonday, you know, because all those things are going to happen. So you need to be in a secret place right now, you know. A thousand fall at thy side, ten thousand at thy right hand. That's right. That's mm-hmm. death is coming. Right. So you will what you're gonna do, you're gonna seek your by Shemia Shai and trust in him yeah. and remain <coughs> in his secret place. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, right. You know, and keep your foot while you're in it. Right. You know? Unto death. Verse three. Surely mm-hmm. he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler mm-hmm. and from the noisome pestilence. Mm-hmm. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shall thou trust trust his Truth, Salak. It says, "Under his wings shall thou trust; mm-hmm. his truth shall be thy shield and buckler." Right, right. And, and I just want to bring this out. When when this whole you know event happened, you you plantation Christians, you folded. You didn't want to. Yeah. You didn't bring that scripture out. Right. All right. You didn't say we got trust in the Lord or who you call Jesus. You didn't say none of that. Y'all just ran to the nearest. Okay, facility to get the, you know what? Yeah, right? what happened? This shit is what, crazy, what happened, bro. What happened to most high, Right, and know? get tested and all that shit, yeah, man. What happened yeah. to their neighbor, bro? So I'm not even to come to mind. Nope. Right, mm-hmm. man. What happened to you mm-hmm. are the Lord, my heel? Right. What happened oh, to that? It's just a song, bro. My heel. Damn. They're not with it. Then y'all not with it, bro. Y'all not with it, bro. If I may add, then you have Pastor Jamal Bryant saying like a couple weeks ago, to, uh, <laughs> people, on it, telling people that 2022 is going to be their year. Yeah. What? How, I swear? How? No, bro. Bro. Elon Musk said he's going to start testing, okay, we'll his neural link in people's brains <laughs> in 2022. Oh my God, what bro, the fuck people, is... People getting evicted. Yep. Yeah. They talk about dark winter. They yep. talk about 2022 is going to be people year, man. Yeah. People broke. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's so bad. It's so bad that even mainstream media. It's so, yo, that dude is wicked. Cause it's so bad. Even mainstream media is saying inflation's here to stay till 2023, and you already know what that means forever. That's what they're saying. They're saying supply shortages. Just get used to it. All right. Get used to things being more expensive. What the fuck is this guy talking about? This is a false prophet. Yep. Yep. Antichrist. Yeah. You know. And that, mm-hmm. You got it, bro. My bad. If I, if I may add, uh, in that video that I seen, he said to give a certain amount of money too. 
Yeah. Right, so no inflation's kicking I in. I think twenty two dollars for the year twenty twenty two. Yeah. Five cents in the desert. I guarantee you, y'all niggas did that shit. Yeah, you know what? And I can guarantee as people like the brother said, in the congregation that's about to get evicted, mm-hmm. yeah. that's poor, yeah. Yeah. they can't they can't pay rent, they struggling to put food on the table. All the money they donate is Right. You don't give no fuck. No fuck. Right. But when you know what they'll say, Cap? Just pray for them. Anyway, yo, so I need a jet. All right, come bring the congregation around with the with the basket. I need the money. And so it's how convenient for them, for the for the for that guy, but not for his own congregation. That's Just make up. it make sense, man. That's fucked up. Yeah. Bro. Hey, but that's yeah. That's fucked up on them for believing it too. Bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. Continue because the scripture says. Right. If the blind follow the uh, uh, blind, 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 yeah. blind, blind lead the blind, they both shall fall into right. a ditch. So that's fitting, bro. And really, yeah. when you mm-hmm. when you peel back the layers, they deserve to be following some yeah. shit like that. But nonetheless, we're still <laughs> wicked. Yeah. We've been set up to call that shit out. Right. right. That's what they get because these whole congregations and these people out here in the real really count the day of the Lord slackness, man. Yeah, right. You know. Like the name topic of this video, the end of all things is at hand, and people just lollygagging around. Yeah. Like because just because they want America to go on, America gonna go on. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> shopping, bro. Skyrocket. Scripture ain't perilous times. Right. Right. No, you good. This was the most expensive Thanksgiving. Yeah. Niggas are spending uh, holiday shopping. Niggas spending three million dollars a minute. Right. Yep. Trying to keep this shit going, knowing that this shit gonna go down, but yet they trying to hold on to this shit. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. let this shit go, bro. Right. If the Lord let them have it, they gonna go all out right. on Christmas. Just see on your Instagram. Right. Like, they wanna go all out on Christmas. And, and the, the, the Lord's showing signs of uh, that he ain't with this shit. Uh, that fucking tree that got burnt right. in the middle in the middle of New York City, man. Yeah. The big the big Rockefeller type tree yeah. got burnt. It was all up in flames. <laughs> yeah, up in it. flames, yo. It was bright red. Okay, oh, that that shit. that goes to show you these plantation oh, Christians oh, ain't putting two two together. Right. Yeah. It's Second Peter chapter three. Verse, man, nine. Okay. What you said? No, I thought you were going to start at ten. Start yeah, I started at nine. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, mm-hmm. as some men count slackness, but is long suffering to us, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance, and that all is the elect. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. Verse 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, mm-hmm. in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Bible Kushak, can you read that again? Maybe they didn't yes. get it the first time. Yes. <laughs> Verse 10 again. But the day of the Lord <coughs> will come as a thief in the night, into which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements <coughs> shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. That's right. And everything is everything is is, is right in a in its position. Right. So what we see these prophecies, hey, all they need to do is really push it to Karagma. That's it. You that's, know, that's, that's what it. we're waiting for, man. The, I can, I'm calling it the mandated prophecy. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. The mandatory prophecy. Right. And that has to happen before, okay, that event takes place, and we're closely we're closely seeing it. Right. Right. All right. We're closely seeing it, man. You see how they uh they they integrating this new uh. Uh, way of method of payment, man. Oh. Once that gets solidified and everybody got to start making trades, that's how you getting paid is by crypto. That's yeah. how you got to buy crypto. Yeah. It's going to merge that shit in, man. Hey, that's why we're here. That's why Dale Beckham said he want his whole uh, salary paid in crypto. Yeah. I mean, right. in uh, Bitcoin. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He probably make, what, about maybe 17, somewhere up in there, mm-hmm. a year, 17 million a year. Mm-hmm. So, Telling them devils to give me my whole 17 million in, in Bitcoin. Right. What does that tell you? Right. Yeah, this is the agenda leading to uh, Karagma, the digital mm-hmm. all. They just had a, a, a fucking party mm-hmm. where you had the, the CEO of Goldman Sachs with the mayor of Miami at a fucking crypto party, basically. Mm-hmm. That's what everything is leading up to. They just took down a sign uh, and it said an end of an era, Staples Center. No mm-hmm. more that red sign, Staples Center. Crypto, everything is going. Is leading up to that. Yes. You see the Egyptians versus the Egyptians. You see the, the tensions rise up in America. You see the, the nations gathering in the Valley of Jehoshaphat. You see the famine of the word be, beginning to be pushed more. Right. So, well, a point where a brother who usually only get fucking 10 views, he can't even fucking keep his own page. Right. Yep. So, everything is leading up 
to what we reading right here, man. <coughs> they got the nuclear missiles. You know, Testing they talked it. about a strike, <laughs> a nuclear strike on Russia, bro. Yeah. It's on the table. Right. A first strike, U.S. first strike Russia with a nuclear attack. Right. That's right. actually right. on the table, man. That's what right. Talking That's what they're talking about, bro. Yeah. And, and, and the thing is, it's to add the Russians, okay, are prepared for that. Yeah. That's why they have a, 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 a system called the dead hand. Any fucking nuke gets near their country, every nuke that's all throughout, wherever they put them at, in Russia and other places, is going to launch at that particular location that it was sent to. <laughs> that's where we're at right now. Yep. That why, that's how you know we're getting so close to that, man. We're, hey, this is Yahoo. We're just waiting on the digital. Oh, hey, we're at the end, man. That's why you, got, you cannot be irresponsible, man. Stay focused. All right, and just watch the prophecy. The Lord yeah. making things happen. Yeah, stay Real locked time. in, stay yeah, with right. it, bro. Watch Real as well as pray. Mm -hmm. Hey, I, I had that actually. Uh, mm -hmm. you got the Matthew one. twenty six and forty one. Watch and pray that he enter not into temptation. The spirit is <clears> the <throat> but the flesh is weak. So we have to make sure we on our watch. We also praying, man. All right, that's going to help you stay out of uh, harm's way, man. Because you know, you watch, you see the prophecy. How are you able to know these prophecies are happening? Because you're engaged in the scriptures, man. Right. All right, and as you engage in the scriptures, the Lord is going to tell you how to move, man. All right, and then guess what, man? You'll be able to stay away from temptation and uh, stay in the good graces of the Heavenly Father, man. That's right. You know? Mm -hmm. Like in 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 11, seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons are you to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Right, you're supposed to be moving with the fear of the Lord, watching mm -hmm. and praying, loving the most out of all your mind, body, heart, and soul, loving your neighbor, feeding the sheep, because if you feed the sheep, mm -hmm. you love, you, that's you loving the hour shot, and that's you loving your neighbor, because guess what, you're not suffering sin upon your neighbor, man. That's, that's right. right. All right, and you do that, you're going to remain in the secret place of the Most High, you're going you to get your act together. Of course, we all fall short, but guess what, you're going to realize where you fall and get back up and seek the Lord, man. Right, which, which is repentance, <coughs> man, because, yeah. hey, repentance is not what people think it is, man. Repentance is not what they teach you in the church, man. You know, I cried and I said sorry to the Lord. So I repented. That's not repentance, man. Repentance means I, I was sorry for my sins. I confessed it. And now I'm not going to go that direction anymore. Right. Right. As much as I can. And if I continue to fall that way, I'm going to keep getting back up and reform my ways. That's true repentance. Right. right. And, and, okay. why, and why are you doing that? Because you know there's fire coming, man. Right. 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 It's fire and brimstone. Right. Right. Like, you know once, once, you just boil, once you boil it down to the fact that fire and brimstone is coming, yeah. it makes things a whole lot right. easier. Right. Yeah. yeah. Everything right. simplified. Like, oh, fire, oh, fire and brimstone? Oh, shit. Yeah. Everything yeah. simplified. Yeah. That, 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 that should move you. Yeah. We've seen people who that didn't move. Right. Right. But, but, yeah. but yeah. Yeah. the reality <laughs> is you have to Believe fire and brimstone right, right, is coming. Right, right, right. Most of these people right. don't believe that's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. Believe it in this part, verse twelve. Looking for <coughs> in hasty right. until the coming of the day of the Most High, because right. we want our enemies destroyed. We want the kingdom of heaven. We want to get out of slavery and captivity, out of these chains of darkness, out of this flesh. We don't want to sin no more. Right. We looking forward to it. Right. You know. Hey, going into what you was mentioning earlier too, you got to want this to be happening, man. That's right. right. Want it to come. That's part of. Hasten in the days, man. That's why, you, right. that's why you maintain the scriptures, man. That's why you you watch. Hey, 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 and on top of that, ask the Lord, man. Because when you go into the Psalms, it tells you, man. Uh, you ask the Lord to teach me how to, uh, you know, gauge uh, gauge the time so I can apply my mind unto wisdom, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, teach us how to number our days so yeah, we may God. apply our minds unto wisdom, man. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. the Lord can take you out, man. And the days are short, man. All yep. right. Mm -hmm. you, you've done you've done a lot of things to be taken out, right? And we still fall short, you know what I'm saying? But well, what's the what's the what's your reins? Right. What's your your intent? Right. To, to be delivered from hell fire. Right. Mm -hmm. To right. please the Most High. To please the Most High. Stop right. sinning against Him. Mm -hmm. Right. And if that's your intent, you're gonna be moving in that in that in that go. spirit, man. Mm -hmm. You ain't mm -hmm. gotta see it. It's gonna show. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> it says, looking forward, hasting unto the coming of the day of the Most High, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. <clears throat> Nevertheless, we according to his promise mm -hmm. look for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that you look for such things, be diligent that you may be found of him in peace without spot and blameless. You know? So that's the that hey, we still we we still we, we got we still got work to do. 
You know, posted a meme in, in the group last night. Education is not something that ends. Mm-hmm. You know, right. we we constantly got growing to do. Mm-hmm. You know, so we could be more and more blameless, man. And the Lord sees that, man. He see, the reins. He sees that. Yeah. You know, he sees the he sees you fighting a good fight of faith, man. You know, mm-hmm. and you fight by your by your actions, not just praying, but you fight by okay, man. Let me try to do this. And the Lord, He got you. You keep on doing that. He gonna help you and help you. He gonna help you, and he gonna help you and give you good success. Right, and you it's know? beautiful you say that because when you go into the, the uh, etymology of education, it means something to be brought out of you. And, and mm-hmm. the scripture tells what though the outward man perish, the inward man is renewed day by day. I brought that out. Mm-hmm. Because, oh, God, see, and, yeah. and that's the process we're going in. Because like uh, that, that movie Lucy, mm-hmm. you know, trying to get her up to hundred percent, and that's what the Lord is trying to do with us. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that education ain't gonna never stop. Mm-hmm. It's gonna continue forever and ever. Right, even in the kingdom. Right. <coughs> even in the kingdom. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Come on, come on. You got you got a piece of us? I had something uh, I was thinking of something. Somebody else got give me thing. Yeah, quick one. That's the thing. When you get this understanding, then you apply it. You know, you build, you're building yourself up. You're constantly getting experience. Mm-hmm. All right, that's the that's the main thing. Why we're here, the Lord's okay building us up, giving us this experience. All right, so we're worthy. All right, to enter the kingdom of heaven. We all, you know, and, and then from there on, still learning. But you know, He wants us to get this foundation down. Right. Right. You got to put the pencil down and close them books. Right. I like that sentiment. Right? Yeah. Scriptures uh, also say that uh, he that waters waters himself also. Mm-hmm. Like that's what you're saying. So if you you if you are uh, watering, you you helping to uh, edify and to, to feed the sheep. You're also feeding yourself as well. Mm-hmm. 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 Right, because faith comes by hearing. Yeah. Okay, which scriptures which scriptures talk about ministering. Every man minister uh, as he has received the gift, so also minister one unto another man. Okay, so if that's how it goes, man. Each one's supposed to be teaching one. Each yeah. one's supposed to be, you know, ministering what they what they got that the Lord portioned them because it's different administrations, but it's the same spirit. So not everybody brother gonna have the same gift. Not everybody gonna have the same skills and abilities. But that's where the brother who got the gift is supposed to come in right. and spread the love. It's mm-hmm. Simple as that. <laughs> Every brick is needed. Right. Which is tell. Right. Which is yeah. tell you in um in Sirach how. In a city, how there's different administrations in a city. There's a person that's going to be at the potter's house. There's an yeah. apothecary. There's somebody who's doing the construction. There's a right. there's the soldiers that work <coughs> in the city. There's the judges, and then there's a, the higher ups that sit in council. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. And, it's, it's, it's like they, they, a city can't function. Right. A city yeah. a city can't function without them. You know what I'm saying? Somebody who tends to the cattle. Somebody who do this. Somebody who got this going on. All right. All right? And then there's the, there's there's the ones that that sit in council. Right. You know what I'm saying? All right, and, and you know they sit and they see, okay, what's the judgment on this? What's the judgment on that? And that's how it was in the ancient world, man. Okay, and in a lot of ways, that's how a lot of the camps run. You got the the, the top two or three brothers. You know, of course, they do the work, they handle what they got to handle, but they're really the administrative, more clerical part of the camp. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And then you know the rest of the brothers, they all right. This brother is the cameraman. You know what I'm saying? This brother's the brother that, that got the signs. This brother, you know, he teaches. The Hebrew lessons, you know what I'm saying? He do this class. I've been around. I see it happen. Right. You know what I'm saying? You got the brother that's the chef. You got the brothers that's the musician. You know what I'm saying? You got the brothers that's, you know, that go into different languages and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? The history. You know? It's it's the same everywhere. <laughs> it's the same everywhere. And that's how it, that's how it goes, man. Mm-hmm. Okay? So that's how it's supposed to go. What you, what you, what the Lord has given to you, you bring that to the table, and the Lord is going to bless it. Right. Right. Just to add, like, that's why, you know, with the council part, those that are in those positions, because they got experience, they've been through a lot, okay, and then that's how they're able to discern, okay, what is rightful judgment, 
just want to throw that out. Mm-hmm. Yep. Right, right. Yep. Con. Con. Um, I want to get a Jeremiah. Oh, it's not Jeremiah. Uh, you have some, did you ever have a precept? Yeah, did you bring that precept? Yeah, I did. Okay. You got, you got some now? Um, okay. I'll, t- I'll bring this up. Um, the brothers are saying being fully committed. Yeah. You know, being, you know, having all your, you know, as the Lord said, being at a, being on fire or being cold. <coughs> right, being hot or cold. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, so I'm going to bring out Matthews uh, 6 and 19. Lay not up yourselves. Lay not up for yourselves, churches upon the earth, where moth and rust do corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. But lay up your treasures, but slough you. But lay up yourself treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust do corrupt, or where thieves do not break through nor steal. So hey, we, you know, we got to lay our, lay our treasures in heaven. You know? The kingdom of heaven. All right. <clears throat> Giving our body, you know, as giving our body fully to your house, you know, shot, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, seeing something is something better than this world, right. you right. know. Mm-hmm. And as the right. scriptures say, you know, the yeah. scriptures say that's why we believe it. The Bible right. says, you know, <coughs> it ain't some wicked nigga on BT at three in the morning saying this. Yeah. No, it's in that Bible that's on your dashboard, man. Uh, that yeah. we're supposed to be living by. Come on. Yeah. That's right. That's right. You got some? Yeah, I got some. Cause this is a this is a book of uh, Hebrews chapter eleven going into Moses how he, how he forsook uh, the, the pleasure of Egypt. Mm-hmm. It's Hebrews chapter eleven and verse twenty three. It says, "By faith Moses, when he was born, sorry, when he was born, was hid three months of his parents because they saw he was a proper child, and they they decided they were not afraid of the king's commandment." And you go into the book of uh, Exodus, how, the, how Pharaoh, you know, he was trying to kill the, the sons of Egypt. I mean the sons of Israel. Right, so even Moses' right. parents didn't give no right. no fuck. Right. Oh, we don't give no damn shit. Right. She said, "Hey, we got we got a, we got a baby, right. spirit on him. Right. That's a handsome little baby. I'm gonna I'm gonna put him in the bull wrestling. Send him right down the river. Right. I see Pharaoh's daughter. We're <coughs> gonna pick him up and we're gonna act like that's that's some just random child. We're right. gonna raise him out in the house. <laughs> that's Jay. That's Jay. Yeah, he's gonna right. Ain't gonna deliver his people. <laughs> right. Which proves that they have to be. People of color. Just throwing that out there. Because the Egyptians were people, people of color. color. That's right. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. <laughs> he, Hebrews 11 and verse 24 says, mm-hmm. By faith Moses, when he was come to years, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter. Choosing, verse 25 says, Choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of the Most High than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. That's an example right there. Yeah. Son of Pharaoh's daughter, Egypt was the was was the was the shit. was the shit. Like that was the power, the world power at the time, man. Okay, they, they were the center of trade. Okay, they the uh, Canaan, the land of Canaan was it was was under Egyptian dominion. All right, because of what Joseph did. All right, hundreds of years prior. Okay, Egypt was a mel- melting pot. They had slaves. You know what I'm saying? You know, they had a powerful uh, military. You know what I'm saying? They they were they were knowledgeable. They had schools of science, maths. What does it sound like, America? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? The great mm-hmm. architecture and everything. Mm-hmm. You know, military, all of that. You know, mm-hmm. and, and here it is, Moses, growing up in Pharaoh's house, had access to all of that wealth. He could have said, I'm going to stay here. Right. Nah, he said, no, nah, I'm going to leave that, man. So none of us have an excuse tonight. Mm-hmm. And nobody got no excuse. Abraham... We, see how, we saw how Abraham was moving. We saw how Isaac was moving. We saw how J- Jacob was doing. We saw how Moses was moving. Mm-hmm. Okay, none of us have an excuse to not be the same way. Right. Hebrews eleven twenty four again. <coughs> sorry, Hebrews eleven twenty five says, "Choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of the Most High than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season." Verse twenty six says, "Esteeming the reproach of Hamashiach greater riches than the treasures in Egypt." For he had respect unto the recompense of the reward. Right, he had respect unto the recompense of the reward. So he was like, okay, I know I'm going to get a reward for this, man. Okay. That's right. I, the Lord, I know the Lord going to pay me back for what I'm going, for what I'm about to suffer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that was great sufferance, man. Yep. Great sufferance Moses went through. He lost everything. He let it all go willingly at that. And the Lord used him to lead Israel out of Egypt. And they talking shit against him, man. They talking all kind of cash shit. Against Moses, man. You know what I'm saying? Lord, like, and Moses like, hey, Lord, just kill me. Fuck it. <laughs> like, yeah. Damn, what did I do to you? <laughs> Lord, I must have did something against you, Lord. You must have something against me, Lord. Just <laughs> take me out. 
You know what I'm saying? And he was still faithful, man. Still faithful, man. That's how we gotta be. Right, God. But he had <coughs> respect unto the recompense of the reward. And it's going to say, what? Well, these all died in faith, not having received the promise, man. Yep. So, which means that Moses, he going to come back and receive the, the reward. Isaiah, yeah. <laughs> Jeremiah, Jeremiah Abraham. Because they mm -hmm. stuck with it. Because they stuck with it, bro. Mm -hmm. The three only children, all of them, bro. Yep. He Hebrews 11 and verse um, 27 says, By faith he forsook Egypt. Not fearing the wrath of the king, for he endured as seeing him who is invisible. Right, so, so he forsook he forsook Egypt, man, not fearing the wrath of the king. I right, said, for he endured as seeing him who is invisible, man. Right, the, the most high. Right, he, 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 he knew that it was something better than fucking Egypt, man. That's how we know. There's something better than fucking spiritual Egypt, America, Babylon the Great. Right, right. Right. He ain't fear the wrath of right. the, the king of Egypt. Is Got the heavenly father who was over him, man. Mm -hmm. And we right. come into a time of persecution, all these things pop off. You gotta be a mindset to prophesy against their ass, like lawyers say, man. Hey, and that shit, if you get in front of a governor, prophesy yeah, against their ass, whole camp. Because, yeah, right. you know? Bring that shit. Hey, but, <laughs> but at the end of the day, you don't even gotta worry about it, man. Because the Lord gonna pour the spirit upon you. Right. That's right. right. And next thing you know, you're gonna be filled with the Holy Spirit. You're gonna be exposing everything the niggas that did. Right. And bring the precepts and slice the <laughs> nice and the nigga all over <laughs> They gonna be for the hurt. Mm. Hey, but see, but like the scriptures say, we walk by faith and not by sight. Mm -hmm. See, that's the epitome of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All he's seeing, you know, Pharaoh, his might, you know what I'm saying? You know, power of the earth at the time. But no, he went on the Lord, man. Mm -hmm. Something I can't see. That Hebrews yeah. eleven and one. That's right. That's yeah. it right there. That's the example. Mm -hmm. All right, quick precept, back you up. Proverbs chapter three and verse thirty one, envy not, uh, envy thou not the oppressor, and choose none of his ways. <clears throat> right, God. Which you know uh, to expound on on Moses' scenario, it just it's different scenarios in the scriptures, man. When we see men who are all the way in Isaac, man, Abraham and Isaac, man. That's that, I mean, how do you beat that? How do you how do you beat that? How do you beat that example of faith, man? Okay, all right, which. What, I, what I'm getting at is the fact that how much you're willing to sacrifice is a direct re reflection on how much you believe yeah. in that particular thing. Yeah. Okay? If you really believe that, you know, you're going to accomplish something, you're going to go through great lengths to right. and great sacrifices in order to get that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay? If you really, really believe in that thing. Alright? So, it, hey, that's what it's about, man. That's why I should say, every man shall receive a reward for his own labor. Okay? That's why I should say that. That's why I should say the first, the many that are first shall be last, and the last shall be first. Mm -hmm. All right? How much you really believe in the reward is going to show in your reflection on how much you're willing to sacrifice. Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay? How, how much you're willing to be humiliated. How much you're willing to suffer. Okay? For that particular thing. Okay, that's gonna be a reflection on how much you really believe that particular thing. Period. And we see it with Yahushai. We see it with Yahushai, man. How much you really love something is gonna come out, and how much you willing to sacrifice for that thing. I got time. Matthew chapter thirteen and verse forty-four. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like oh, a man. treasure. Go ahead, bro. Hid in a field. The which when a man hath found, he hideth, and for joy thereof goeth and sell all that he hath and buyeth that field. Mm -hmm. There you go. All right. So he, how much he valued it, how much he loved it, how much he believed, because he he found the treasure, and then he dug it in the earth. He hid it. He hid it, and then he sold all he had so he could get that field. Why? Because he know as soon as I go back to that land, I'm gonna find that treasure there. It's mm -hmm. worth it. Be at. Right. That's where it's gonna be at. Yeah, so right. he still had faith that it was still there. Mm -hmm. All right. In a field. In a field. He he no. uh he uh he bought the field. Yeah. He bought the field. Mm -hmm. He let everything go for that particular field, man. So again, that's what it's what it's mm -hmm. that's what it's about. How much you love that particular thing. How much you really believe in that thing. Okay. All right. How much you really value that thing. It's gonna come out and, and it's gonna be reflected in how much you're willing to sacrifice for it. 
Right. What you're willing to sacrifice for it. That's okay? Right. How much you're willing to suffer for it. How long you're willing to suffer <laughs> for it. How do you treat it? Yep. How do you behave yourself? In regards to that particular thing, right. that's why scriptures say you cannot love God and man. You will either love the one or despise the other. Mm -hmm. You cannot serve two masters. It's not just talking about uh, the Most High money. It's talking about the Most yeah. High and anything else too. The Most yeah. High in the world. You can't serve the world, the world and serve the Most High. It's you can't do that. Possible, bro. Yeah. That's why even Apostle Paul said it's better that you be without a wife. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why he said if you have a wife, be as though you have none. Yep. That's why he said that. Because because that's going to show a reflection. It's gonna, first of all, it's going to help you be more focused in the ministry. But that's a reflection of how much you really love the Lord. Because the two greatest things is the truth and women. Those two mightiest things. Yeah. Mightier <coughs> than the king. <clears throat> Mightier than wine. The truth and a woman. Yeah. Okay? And if you put the truth first, mm -hmm. it's going to show you how to cultivate your servant. Meaning your woman. Right. right. And she's going to conform to what you need to do to be a part of this ministry. Right, Boom. exactly. It's, it's okay It's okay to mind manipulate your servant. It's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get on, you know, get on your vibration. Right, 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 right. It's okay. You know, you know what I'm saying? Right. Which is right. evil. You know what I mean? Right. <laughs> which, 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 the way women are, they're going to do that anyway. Right. right. If she likes you, she's going to do it exactly. anyway. Yeah. If she really into you, she's going to do it anyway. Right, right, right. You always bring this out, Karab. You know, we're, we're young men. And we're teaching in Miami, all right? Miami, just that's all it says. That's it. On a Saturday, <laughs> weekend and week out. You even got brothers that teach in Miami or certain cities outside Miami on a Wednesday, weekend and week out, <coughs> all right? On Saturday and, and on Wednesday. Wednesday. All right. these women, Sa you know how much ass passes by exactly. the camp? In Miami? In <laughs> Miami. That's you know? what the sacrifice. See the example? It's the sacrifice, and that's what we're, uh, what the calf is conveying. That sacrifice. Uh, our brothers are driving from an hour from where they live at, right. two hours two from where they live at. Yep. That's the sacrifice. Yeah. See, and you just don't talk about it. You got to be about it. You got to yeah. show it. Yeah. Right. All right. You got to show. That's it. right. And the Lord is right. not unrighteous, man. Mm -hmm. no. You're gonna bless that man. Yep. You're gonna bless you know? it, even mm -hmm. if you don't see it in the immediate mm -hmm. return. Okay, it may not be in an in a immediately mm -hmm. right. tangible return, but it's going to be in the spirit, though. Right, right, I bet right. most I bless you with more faith, more right. wisdom, more right. favor, right. more, more right. mercy. I bet he do that. Right. Yeah. I bet he do it. And yeah. throw your bones. Yeah. 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 The Lord going to bless you, gonna bless you <laughs> man. And yeah. yeah. salvation, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Abraham did that because they, they yeah. the Father had promised them the kingdom, man. That's right. Mm -hmm. All right? Yes. Uh, so, you know. Hey, that's what it comes That's what it comes down to, man. So remember that, man. Okay, right. how much you love something, how much you believe in it, how much you value it. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, all of those things. It's gonna be reflected in how much you're willing to sacrifice for it, right. how mm -hmm. much you're willing to suffer for it, how much you're willing to get uncomfortable for it, yeah. how much will, how, what are you willing to neglect for it, what are you willing to lose mm -hmm. for it. Love is patient. Love is kind. The bond is not itself. How do you carry yourself? All of these things, all of these things. And, and the reality is, so like, no, no, and the reality is, the Lord is, you know, exhorting us to practice that now because <coughs> you know, I have to put the pencils down and close the book, and you're gonna be faced with a lot of these things. Brothers may have to lose family, you know, immediate family, you know, like that's not what we lead with. But it's in the scriptures. Right. And scriptures. And you've got examples of men who had to do that and, and receive tenfold, right. hundredfold. You That's know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like Job. Like so, but the reality is practice that mentally now and in certain scenarios you go through because you're gonna be faced with. It, mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. We're not gonna have these anemones and see, that's why you're supposed to hasten the coming of the Lord. So when it's no more power, EMP attack, yeah! Woo! Oh, let's go. Bottle. You see, <laughs> that's why you're supposed to be hastening those mm -hmm. things, not on the edge about it, because when it happens, you're going to fold. Right. Hey, when the scandemic popped off, oh, yeah. brothers <laughs> was rejoicing like a motherfucker. You know? Yeah, you yeah, know? Everybody, everybody was like, is this it? Is yeah. this yeah. it? Yeah. Now? Yeah. Wait for it. And we felt it. We, we thought it was it. 2020, man. We're like, yeah. yeah, the Lord coming back any day. It was no cars on the streets. Right? You know, yeah. yeah. Wow. Lit. That, yeah. Right. That's the spirit, man. Brother brought a uh, bottle of 1942. 
Yeah. <laughs> Brothers over here to get this much out of right. it, but it was called yeah. tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. 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 Right. 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 You know, yeah. Celebration, <laughs> right. baby. But that that's the spirit we, you're supposed to be in. Mm-hmm. That everything is collapsing. Why? Because the collapse of this society means the the rising of Y'all watch me out shy society. That's that's right. Right. You got to be invested in it. Right, and that's, that's right. why that's why you're supposed to again be invested in this truth right. and not mm-hmm. in this world. Right, right, because mm-hmm. right. this world gonna pass away. Right, right, right. right. If I may, uh, this is um, Second Ezra chapter fifteen or sixteen. Second Ezra sixteen verse forty. It says, "Oh my people, hear my word. Make you ready to the battle, and in those evils be even as pilgrims upon the earth." Okay. So we are, we are to be as pilgrims, man, which means, well, we don't have an invested stake in, in where we're at and in our situ- our particular situations, man. We try to maintain them the best we can, but if the Lord is calling it to change for whatever reason, whether it be t- so you can show your love for the Heavenly Father and your and your, um, your dedication towards Him, all right, or whether it be for the brethren, you're supposed to be about it, okay? Because this is not going to last anyway, man. It says what? Oh, my people, hear my word. And make you ready to the battle. Mm. Okay, this is a—it's about to be a battle, man, between good and evil, life and death is about to be waged, man. That's right. Okay, so you got to be on some real, which is the spirit, you know, because hey, you know, it, it's interesting that within the past year or so, brothers have been talking about stoicism. You know what I'm saying more, which we're not staunch stoics. You know what I'm saying we're not out of balance. Of course, we enjoy wine and pleasure and laughter here and there, whatever we can move. You know what I'm saying, but. The mindset of somebody who's going into battle is somebody who, who's like, hey, I'm going in and I may lose my life. Yeah. Right. You can't go into battle like the scriptures tell you. Even in the law, I tell you, if you got a wife, if you got land that you just bought, whoop de whoop, stay your ass in the crib. Because you're you going to go out there, you're going to go out there your mind will be focused on that. Right. Make mm-hmm. mm-hmm. my wife. Right. Mm-hmm. You know? mm-hmm. Now I was going to say, you see, the thing is, we're supposed <coughs> to be warriors for the Lord, but we're in the battle, man. The Lord conditioned us for a war that's about to turn physical, man. So you gotta be willing to drop everything to to gain the spiritual. So when the physical happen, you'll know how to maneuver, man. Right, you'll know how to maneuver, man. And when you, you know, I I've, I've had the pleasure of meeting a lot of, um, you know, different uh, bishops and deacons in this faith, man. And, and one thing I'll say is that hey, they they handle what they handle, but it's like fuck everything. I'm mm-hmm. saying like they all got that spirit on them, like hey, shit, I handle what I gotta handle in this world accordingly, but I, they locked in. All of them. You gotta be. They all, all of them are like that. Older men in the faith, man, that I've had the pleasure, the pleasure, and, and, and the honor of meeting. They're all like that. None of, no, no switch up, no change. It's all like that. Okay. And usually, those are the types of men that the Lord puts in those positions to, to, to set an example for the, for the men around them, man. Okay. They're those, no matter what type of brothers, man, whether they sick, whether they healthy, whether they poor, whether they ain't got it, whether they got it, they don't got it, whether they got a family, whether they family left them. They still all the way fucking in. They all the way in. Even lawful things, they willing to cut that shit off and, and neglect it. Why? So they could be all the way in. That's what the Lord is dealing with. The Lord is looking for elite class warriors. Elite class, nothing less. Okay? All right? This is uh, verse 41. It says, He that selleth, let him be as he that fleeth away. And he that buy it as he that will lose, and he that occupieth merchandise as he that had no profit by it, <coughs> and he that build it as he that shall not dwell therein, he that soweth as if he should not reap, so also he that planteth the vineyard as he that shall not gather the grapes, they that marry as they that shall get no children, and they that marry not as widowers, and therefore they that labor labor in vain. So the scriptures say, man, if you if you are involved in any of these things, be as though you're not going to enjoy so much as the of the fruit of your labor, man. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you doing it, but you still have the mindset about, hey, this is temporal. Yeah. Okay, all right, I can't have my my really, I can't really have my heart invested into these right. things. That's right. Okay, because if you labor with your heart in it, you laboring in vain. You gonna lose it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you, you, your mind is too invested in it. So when shit hits the fan, you gonna be trying to maintain that. Okay, and um, if I may go to uh, uh, verse 68, it says, For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you, verse 68, and they shall take away certain of you, 
and feed you being idle with things offered unto idols. And they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and in reproach and trodden underfoot. For there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. They shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out <coughs> of their houses. They shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Yep. Okay? That's what it's coming down to, man. The enemy is going to come in like a flood and cast believers in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai out of their houses and spoil their goods. Mm -hmm. That is according to prophecy. And then... When that happens, for the righteous, the Lord is going to lift up a standard. That's why the scriptures say, ahead of that, prepare you for the battle. Make your mind ready. That's right. Okay? Live your life like somebody whose mind is getting ready for battle. <coughs> for war. Mm -hmm. Okay? That's why the things are written in the scriptures, man. Denying yourself. Okay? Hating your, your wife, your father, your mother, your children, your, your own life for my name's sake. Okay. Basically, don't get too attached. Man. Don't get too attached. Be willing to let it go. Mm -hmm. at, the, at, at a moment's notice for Yahweh Hashem Shai and for the brethren. Mm -hmm. Okay? The same way Yahweh Shai was, man. Because right. you can't say that you're willing to do it for the Lord if you're not willing to do it for the brothers. And you can't say that you're willing to do it for the brothers if you're not willing to do it for the Lord. Mm -hmm. It doesn't work that way. It has to be both. Joint venture. It's a joint venture. Okay? The whole body, what? Knitly fitted together. Shall be built up unto the unto the perfect man. Colossians and Ephesians. That's where it's written. Okay? All the way in. The same way your immune system is all the way in. If your immune system not is, is not all the way in, it's called a, a disorder. That AIDS. Okay, you got AIDS, nigga. That AIDS. Alright. Some of y'all might have from taking this, you know what. Alright? <laughs> you see, you, that's why it's called a body. Okay, when, you, when your nervous system is not all the way in, it's called epilepsy. Okay, paralysis. Okay, all right. When, when, when your blood, when your when your blood, when your blood uh, cells are not all the way in, your red blood cells is called a vasoocclusive disease. Okay, your your red blood cells don't flow right. Okay, when your bones are not all the way in, it's called a bone fracture. Okay, that's why scripture calls it calls it a schism. Because you're not all the way in. Think about it. Your eyes not all the way in and operating, the, the, the nerves not connecting, you are blind. Right? Yeah. I'm not, am I making this up? Preach. You gotta be all the way in. Every part of your body is all the way in. When you when your rod ain't all the way in, erectile dysfunction. <laughs> Life, Real. Life over. Right. Okay. Your whole body suffering. Yep. And, and, and the, the average cap is saying. G shit. Right. And the, the average is saying, Cap. You know, <coughs> that's why we have our uh, examples, our apostles, man. Thirty plus years. All right. Twenty five plus years, all the way in. All right. Nothing. All right. Straight away from the truth. They love Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai unto death. Okay. And that's why if you understand the apostle always like there should be Israelite camps all throughout Babylon, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Throughout Babylon. Okay? Especially now going into 2022. And all the shit that's been going on. Alright? And it goes to show you that um, you know, this truth is precious and, and that all right, he kept the spirit on us all up to this point, continue staying in and going all the way through. Yeah. Lord willing, we still continue, alright, till the chariots come. That's right. Mm -hmm. God, God. Hey, so with that, hey, we want to give all praises on and glory to Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai by Shem, And double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone and citations to the elect. Quam Yasharala. Quam Yasharala.